Okay, y'all, I think, uh, I think I finally got it figured out, hopefully. We'll see what happens. Went to your sub feed and found it? Okay. Oh, but now it's not showing my screen again. Oh, no. Okay, hi guys. So the problem is, is that OBS is not picking up my screen for whatever reason. Um, and the only solution I found is closing OBS and then starting it back up again. But now I'm running into the problem of when I actually open up the game, it stops showing anything. It just shows me a black screen. And I'm assuming it's showing you guys a black screen as well. You can probably hear the music, I'm guessing. It's just very weird because this did not happen last time. Yeah, black screen with music. And see, and I can put my splash page up, um, but even now if I go back to my first screen, like I'm not in the game, but it's just showing an empty, uh, an empty screen, an empty black screen. So that is what I'm trying to figure out right now. Alright, I'll be back when I can figure this out. Sorry for the delay, guys.
Okay. I think we're back, guys. I think we finally did it. Whoo! Okay. So if I can just get a confirmation from you guys that you can see the game and hear me, that is all good. Yes and yes. Yep, all good. All right, let's get going then. For realsies this time. Yeah, thank you, hun. Yep. Okay, so, finally jumping back into this. Uh, before we get too far, I'm actually jumping out of the game really quick, uh, to scroll way up to the top, and I wrote out a recap so that I could let anyone know who wasn't here last time or just refresh you guys on what happened. Recap for anyone who missed the last stream. We left our home candle keep with our foster father, Gorion. He sensed something dangerous was coming for us and wanted to flee. Before we got far, however, we were attacked in the middle of the night and Gorion was killed by a mysterious man in armor. Our childhood friend, Emowyn, followed us outside Candlekeep and is journeying with us. The only clue we had from Gorion was to find his friends, Khalid and Jahira, at the Friendly Arm Inn. After numerous assassination, assassins tried to kill us, we found Khalid and Jahira and they joined us as well. They are on a mission to head south to the town of Nashkel and meet with the mayor to discuss troubles in the local mines that is making all the iron in the region brittle. So, we are heading for Nashkel, but we first stumbled upon the town Baragost and are exploring the town before continuing our adventure on the Sword Coast. So there! Tell me. And, you all might have noticed that, in between streams, I went ahead and I got us a new portrait for our main character. I think this portrait works quite a bit better. I found this image on Google. Um, I just searched up like half work portraits and then I edited it a little bit to make it look more like um, our character. I want to leave a link when this goes up on Sean's channel after the stream. I'm gonna leave a link to the actual artist in the description, so if you guys want to check out their work, you can check them out then. Yeah! It's a good, good new portrait. I got a bunch of new portraits, actually. Um, let's see. Some of these are old, but you can actually see some of the male portraits now. There's a portrait of a bear. I don't know why. This is just part of a big old portrait pack. Um, oh yeah, here's one of the new ones. Yeah, there's the one I'm using. There's one. Some of these are from future games. Oh yeah, there's a goblin one. Uh, yeah, I think that's the other ones. Okay. Anyway. So we last time came in here um to Baragost and we started exploring the town we came down here to Feld Post Inn we met Marl and had a little scuffle with him we went over to Firebead Elvenhair's house and we got a book for him and he gave us a book in return and then we came over here and we dealt with uh Silky give it to me straight who is trying to take advantage to of some people So now, today, first things first, we are going to come over here to Thunderhand, Thunderhammer Smithies. You want it? You've got it. And we are going to talk to this local smith. What you wish done? Hello there. Is there anything I can do for you on this fair day? Uh, could you show us what you have for sale? This is one of the best sales, like, uh, best armories in the game. He has some of the best stuff. Um, a lot of the basic stuff. 
But then he's got like special things like special arrows, special bullets. I think he's even got some special helm or um, armors. Yeah, shadow armor, full plate armor. This is a really, really good crossbow. Gives you a full extra attack per round, which is really good. But we obviously do not have money for any of that kind of stuff. Um, I think the main thing we want done is we want to identify some of the stuff we've got. Normally it's better to have somebody in your party who can identify things, but we just don't have a mage in our group yet. So for the time being, I am going to spend the money to identify some of these things and we should get a nice uh, profit even, even after spending a hundred gold to identify. Cause like this, this quarter staff plus one, it does one D six plus one crushing. Well, that's nice and all, but we don't have anybody who's going to be using a quarter staff on our team. So we can sell that. And we made a hundred gold back on that. Uh, we have the belt of an antipod, antipede. I'm never sure how to say this, but trimmed with the fur of a polar bear, the sturdy belt is tooled with images of blue moons and white ice fo flows. The wearer is immune to all cold-based effects, but suffers double any fire damage. And that's neat, and this is unfortunately, okay, it's neat, but there's not a whole lot of enemies in Baldur's Gate that deal ice damage. Fire damage is a lot more common, so the take double fire damage is actually really, really bad. So I'm going to sell this, and the thing that sucks about that is that this is the belt that was on Gorion. <laughs> so, like, it would be nice to keep it as, like, a way to remember him, but it's not a good belt. So, buy belt. Um, then we have this, the Girdle of Piercing, Elf's Bane. An infamous highwayman in his day, Pandar the Scardale. Pandar of Scardale made quite a name for himself vexing the elves of Kromathor Forest. To their annoyance, he continually used the wood to escape the law and to aid, and with the aid of his girdle, of this girdle, the elves' arrows as well. Unfortunately for Pandar, pit traps and starvation proved a slower but more effective substitution. Yikes. And this equip when you equip this, it gives you an armor class plus three versus missile and piercing attack. So this is a very nice belt. One of one of the best in the game, if you ask me, which is why it costs so much. And then we have probably the funniest belt in the game here. Girdle of masculinity and femininity. This belt is cursed. A rare yet oft discussed magical item is wrought with most powerful magic. Anyone unfortunate enough to secure it around their waist instantly finds that their gender to be transformed. It is said that not 50 years past, a nameless court jester was beheaded for presenting the girdle as a gift to Duke Lob Lobelin's lover. So equipped abilities, it changes the wearer's gender, may only be removed with a curse, remove curse spell. So yeah, uh, we'll be selling that. And um, I think we ended up pretty much coming up even with that stuff. Unfortunately, the smithy cannot identify either of these two rings. But that's okay, we'll just hang on to them for now. And I don't think there's any other equipment we want to buy. What does this do? Potion of Defense. Uh, makes your armor class zero. Uh, well, my armor class is already zero. So that would be best to give to Jahira. Right here. And let's also give her the belt. Because I love her and want to protect her. What do you need? Don't worry about me. We will definitely be coming back to this place to pick up some more goodies in the future.
Would the masculine feminine belt screw up one of your party members if they used it? I mean, it would just change their gender. That's it. It doesn't actually, like, really affect anything. It just changes their gender. <laughs> I am guessing that if we did that to any of our party members, the mod that I included with the NPC project would probably have them say something about it. Don't worry about me. So we're gonna talk to Bajoranin. They did quite a number on me, those half ogres. There's a band of them fortifying themselves in the mountains south southwest of here. If you could give them a taste of justice, that would do me proud. Okay. And we've got our handy dandy journal here. We can start reading our stuff from our quests. Jordan, a paladin currently healing from his wounds in Baragos Jovial Juggler, Jovial Juggler, Jovial Juggler Inn, has asked me to uproot a band of half ogres. According to his report, they have been fortifying themselves in the mountains south southwest of town. Aye, so everyone's heard. Everyone's a rubbernecker then. Is that it? Old Gurk had his, famous, had his famous cloak stolen right off his back by a batch of poultry tasseloi. Yeah, yeah, it's old news. And if you make one crack about the cloakwood being an appropriate place to lose it, at least... To lose it, at least I'll put your liver on the menu. Now move on and let the next people in line have their laugh. So it seems like this guy was having a bad day. I got some cheap beer for ya. Uh, yes, show me a list of your services. So he has rooms and drinks. We just rested not too long ago in the last stream, although we are hurt. Hmm. You know what, I think we'll drink and maybe see if we can get any rumors out of this place. And then we will take a nap to regain our spell slots. Let's drink some ale. The Sue's ale? Huh? Huh? The wine? Ah ha ha! Your relations haven't been going too good between the two powers in this region. The Grand Duke supposedly accused Um of all the raiding that's been happening along the roads. Not a good thing to go accusing the most powerful country in the Western world. Hmm. Pardon me, I need a drink. It's very important for me to stay hydrated during these streams because there is a lot of reading for me to do. Okay. How about some of this? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I wonder where those bandits come from. They seem to know exactly how to escape the fist. Where do they hide? Must be somewhere in the woods. That is good to know. All right. Let's take a quick sleep. Tell me. And you notice we don't heal all the way up. Um. I only rest for eight hours. You can actually use the settings in this game to set it so that your characters will rest until you are fully healed. I have that setting turned off just to help make the game a little bit more interesting. I've got this. But we did rest, so both of our clerics should have all their spells back. Give it to me straight. Yep. What do you need? Don't worry about me. And if you'll remember last time, we got a mission from somebody in the Friendly Arm Inn. Ah, here we go. Talking about spiders in their house. Landrin, a friend a gnome at the Friendly Arm Inn, has apparently fled her home. Due to a recent spider infestation in her cellar, the house, she informs me, lies just west of the Jovial Juggler Inn in Baragost. Much as I would rather not have them in my pack, she insists on seeing the bodies of the spiders before I am to receive any payment. She hinted at an extra bit of reward if I bring her husband's old boots and her bottle of wine as well. So intimidating. There's so many people. <laughs> so here's the house. 
Let's go ahead and save, because we are going to face off against some spiders. Tell me. Prepare ourselves a little bit. Okay, Jahira's got her club. Khalid, switch to your sword. Alright. Now I want to take... What do you need? You have need of me? I'm going to take these three in first. I've got this. And there's the spiders. Uh, yeah. So, Tell me. Khalid and myself are going to go after the one here. Give it to me straight. Nature's servant or the group. And Jahir is going to come over here to block off the spiders there and attack. What you want? And now I'm going to go to Emmelyn and bring her in. And hopefully they won't attack Emmelyn and she'll be able to fire arrows at them. Um, I think she's going to help out with Khalid and I. Because Jahira is now level 2. So she's got like double the hit points that Khalid and I have. What do you need? Oof, yeah, I just took a hit. And these spiders can actually poison us. So hopefully Tell we are me. not unlucky. Yep. But good job. These guys have already taken out a spider and Jahira yes. has taken oh, out a spider oh, already as well. Yes, yeah, you can split your party between areas. Only certain areas though. There are some maps that are like too big. Like, like you can't... I'll, I'll clarify that in just a little bit. So yeah, now everyone. There we go! Spiders, taken care of. So, we can separate ourselves between like, buildings, but we can't separate ourselves between like, large area maps. Like, I can't have one party member in Barragost and leave another at the Friendly Arm Inn. If that makes sense. Okay. So, we need to pick up the spider body to prove that we have done the deed. And we also have an Andar gem, some gold. Here are the worn out boots she wanted, and the bottle of wine. Anything else? That's it. Alright. I've got this. You've a task? Uh, yeah, Jahira, go ahead and heal me. Tell me. Why do the spiders deserve it? They're harmless. All they do is spin webs and eat bugs. They're gigantic and they will attack you on sight. Don't worry about <laughs> That's me. why they deserve it. <laughs> They're also poisonous. So they will attack, kill, and eat you on sight. <laughs> So I wouldn't call them harmless. <laughs> this is a nice little fountain area, by the way. I just like it. I think it's neat. There's some leather armor there, but that's not worth my time. All right, and that is for the most part, Baragost explored. Uh, we could definitely explore more, but that, that I think is probably the most we're going to be doing here for the time being. Oh wait, actually, there is one more thing I want to do before we take off. Uh, let's see, is it Control J? Yeah. Come up here, guys. I want to edge right along the edge of this map and go to this house right here. So it's kind of a neat little side quest that, you know, you wouldn't, like, like you wouldn't be prompted to find it unless you were just exploring. But if we come into this house Give it to me straight. I've got this. and we talk to Marianne here. Salutations. My husband had to make a business trip to Am, and I'm so worried for him. Marianne, he always said. Marianne, who knows the road better than old Roe? 
But the highways just aren't as safe as they once were, and there hasn't been a messenger from Om here in months. Could you keep your eyes along the southern roads and let me know if you find anything? Sure. We will do that. Whoop. What Not me? just me. Grab everyone. Don't worry about me. And let's explore the surrounding areas really quick. So let's go over, actually, let's go down here again, where we were. I've got this. And explore to this side. High Hedge, we will like be probably, we might actually be going there next. I've got this. And then below us, we've got just a regular old forest with a rock. Ah, uh, okay, so let's go ahead and explore High Hedge. I've got this. It's already late again, man. Time flies. Woo, hi. That is a bear. And even though it is just a bear, bears can screw you up at the beginning of the game. They can, like, one-shot you. And they're not... They're not aggro on sight, so if you can just go around them, you'll be fine. But if you get too close, that's when he'll attack. So we're just gonna go around. Oh, hello, skelly mans. Tell me. Skeletons are a perfect time for me to test out my turn undead. And I don't think it did anything. I am still a level one cleric. Try it again. Nope. Turn undead can make either skeletons just outright die or can make them like run away in fear. Whoopie scatter skeletons. I'm gonna pick up a single skull. Give it to me straight. Cause why Don't not? Worry about me. It might come in handy later. Also, Emma went leveled up. I think back when we finished up the spiders. So we ought to do that. She is now a level 2 thief. She gained 25 hit points. Or, no, oh my gosh, I was about to say. She gained 25 skill points to use for her thieving. An additional 8 hit points. And her lore increased by 3. That's pretty good. Okay. So what do I want to increase? Um, I think she's going to be my main person to find traps. Yeah. Yeah, she's going to be my trap finder. So, let's just put all of her skills into that. And there we go. She now has 16 hit points, a little bit more sturdy. Where is Khalid? Khalid still needs another 700. And I need another 400. So we're getting close-ish. What do you need? I've got this. Hello, pal. Well, hi. Whoa, slow down. I'm trying to plan the greatest heist here. With your tromping about, I can't hear a word I'm thinking. Ha! Huh. This guy throws a hissy fit because of a few words. Because a few words broke the silence of the woods. I want to see him in Puff Guts' kitchen on the night of the Midsummer Feast. He'd probably lose his mind and start screaming or something. Ha! <laughs> He'd fit right in. Well, uh, of course you can't hear a word you're thinking. You have to say it out loud first. Okay, okay, here's the plan. There's a big time mage living just over the ri that rise. Magic items scattered all over the place. I'm betting. Trouble is, he's got... The magic items scattered all over the place, I'm betting. Trouble is, he's got these two hideous flesh monsters guarding him, and no shadows where I can lurk. Brute force here is useless against the monsters. Everything is useless. 
There must be a way out with the witless, but damned if I know how. Ah, hell, I guess I'd better be finding a halfling village or somewhere to pick on. This dive is all yours. Okay. That was that one. Is that just in my journal? Oh yeah. It seems I have accidentally altered the course of future history by stumbling upon the thief, Permidian Stark, as he was as he was planning, in his words, the greatest heist of all time. A powerful mage apparently lives nearby, guarded by horrid flesh beasts. Stark claimed that they were too tough to kill, but that there might be a way to lure them away from the action. His will and concentration broken, Stark left me here to ponder the situation. I always found that that guy's inclusion, like, right here, is kind of weird. Because, like, there's not... Tell me, I've got this. I, I don't know, I just don't feel like there's really any reason to rob from this guy. Like, sure you could. Can't save the game while in dialogue mode. Are you guys trying to say something? Whoops. I don't know if I accidentally don't clicked out of me. a dialogue. But yeah, he has two flesh golems that walk around this outer perimeter, but otherwise, so long as you don't, like, go walking around his house, he won't attack you. Hello, Thalantir. I don't have patience for strangers on my property. Do us both a favor and move along. Unless, of course, you have magic for sale. From the looks of you, you couldn't afford the items I have for sale. Well, hey now. I sincerely hope you have some reason for bothering me. I've already stated that I wish you to leave. Ah, uh, rumors talk of a powerful mage that lives out here. If it is you, I would like to speak with you. Rumors? Bah! There is no mage here that wishes to be that wishes to speak or be spoken of. Unless, of course, you have magic that you wish to sell. We are interested in selling or even buying magical items. What do you have? Yes, my dude! Okay, this is another one of the best merchants. His stuff is a little bit more pricey because uh, almost all of it is magical. But, um, yeah, we'll want to keep that. This gem we can sell. I have another broken weapon? What the heck? That is my second, uh, uh, hammer to break. That is really unfortunate. I mentioned last stream that uh, you, your weapons break because of the iron crisis going on down in Ashkel. But... Usually I don't have two weapons break on me like that. That is really unfortunate. Okay, um, Jahira. Nature servant, as you direct. Come in here with me. As you direct. Give me those rings. We want to identify them. Give it to me. You Why want it? You got it. Why do I live in such a piss-hat town? Come on, dude! I want to buy things from you. Potentially. Mostly I want to get these things identified. The Ring of the Princes, plus one. This is a regular old plus one protection ring. Oh, don't worry. If you have magical items, they won't break. But any normal weapons... Those are the ones that can break. So I'm actually thinking I want to do a mission where I can get a magical, um, a magical hammer here pretty soon. Because it's really close by and definitely doable. And then I don't have to worry about losing my hammers again. So I think we're going to go do that here really soon. Anyway, this gives our armor class plus one and saving throws plus one. So generally a good ring to keep around and ever memory. Which is worth 9,000 gold. It is the Wing of Wizardry, Evermemory. 
Equipped abilities can memorize double the amount of first level wizard spells. Super duper handy. Unfortunately, we don't have any wizards with us right now, but that does not mean I am selling this ring because we will be having a wizard on our team. In fact, a few. So we will be keeping that ring. The real question is, is we only have a thousand gold. Is there anything we want to buy from him right now? Ooh, he does have a potion case. Oh, he has identify scrolls. Hmm. He has some crazy items here, like the claw of uh, Kaz Kazgaroth and the horn of Kazgaroth. Uh, also, these robes of the good and neutral archmagi are super, super good. Yeah, these are the rings that I found in the rocks. So super good items found pretty early on in the game. Um, I think I'm going to give this to myself. I, I already have the best armor class of everybody, but <laughs> it's important that I... <laughs> it is important that I stay alive, because if I die, the game's over. If my other party members die, we're probably going to reload anyway, but like, it's okay. They can be brought back to life. <laughs> Um All right. What do you need? Well, I think that's all we want from this guy for now. Wait, what did what did Oh, that's right. I dropped my broken weapon. That is fine. I've got this. Tell me. All right, and that is actually all we wanted to do here. I Give it to me straight. Don't have a hammer right now. So I am not gonna go up front and battle. I'm just gonna deal with being hammerless. What do you need? Don't worry about me. And we're going to shoot across Baragost here really quick and head over to the temple. Don't worry about me. Because the mayor of Baragost actually is also the priest, like the head priest of this temple. And we want to talk to him really quick. Don't worry about me. Welcome! The traveling adventurer is never turned away from a house of Lothar. As we strive to aid those who make a difference in the realms, if you are battle-worn, we can extend a number of necromatic restorations, whatever you need. A small donation is all the compensation we require. Oh, he's not going to talk to us? I thought he would have something to say. Well, I guess not. Don't worry about me. I really wanted to get the quest for this before I just up and do it. I think if I talk to a town crier here in the middle of town, granted the town crier is probably asleep. My goodness. Town crier's going to bed and crap. You want it? You've got it. Yeah, 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 let us sleep. Okay. You want it? You've got it. Come on, town crier, where are you? There he is. Give me my side quest. <laughs> By order of his most radiant of Rothlander, Keldeth Om Orm Normlair. Governor of Varagos, in the best interest of its people, forthwith there is to be a bounty placed upon the head of the mad cleric Basilisk for the crimes against nature that he has committed. Anyone bringing proof of his demise to the Song of the Morning Temple shall receive no less than 5,000 gold. Higgy, higgy. Now that 
That sounds like a good reward. And so that is exactly what we are gonna go after. I've got this. So first heading just south of Baragust. We're here on the road. Mother said not to talk with strangers. Wee wee bee. I'm picking fruit for mommy. Every little bit helps, she says, so I'm gonna help. Uh, isn't it dangerous for you to be out here? Yeah, I suppose. I'm fast enough, though. The town is only a little ways away. I was chased by a gibberling once, but Bunky's dad is a guard, and he smacked that grass Bunky like it had never been hit before. They keep clear of town. Bandits don't go for kid much, neither. They only hit you if you're packing ore to town. I gotta go back to picking, okay? See you, kid. Paragoths to the north. And we continue to head south. And we seem to have run into some Orgrillians who have killed a man here on the road. For the fallen! Oh, Jahira, don't be flanked. Ow. Oh, please heal yourself. Oh, no, Jahira! Okay, okay, this is going poorly. We're just, we're just gonna... We're just gonna load that back up. Oh, the Gibberlings? The Gibberlings were the little, like, purple monkey guys um, we fought last time. They are not much of a problem. Okay, let's try this again. Did you hear us, sweetie? Drink this. Can I help you? What do you need? There we go! That is how you do it! Boom! Not even a problem! No, I just used my save. I quick save often. You can see it down here whenever I, I hit the Q button and it'll quick save my progress. So, well that's nice clean. So yeah, we can see they killed this poor guy here and they dropped this bloodstone gem and the scroll which says, My dearest Marianne, the road has been difficult, but I have arrived safely here in Arm. I think it would be wisest if I returned by sea, however, perhaps sometime after the first snows have fallen. I trust this letter reaches you. The halfling I hired to carry it struck me as an honest, as an honest enough chap. Always and forever, row. So yeah, this is already the payoff to that side quest we got in Baragost when we went to that lady's house. We will have to give the scroll to her and let her know that her husband is fine. You want it? Unfortunately, the messenger died. Rip. So we'll just continue down the road here, and it says Nashkel to the south. Sweet. I serve the flaming fist. Uh oh. You there! You're under arrest for banditry and highway robbery. We know you're part of that bandit group who's been terrorizing the coastway. Give yourselves up or there'll be trouble. You have obviously been standing in the sun too long, soldier. As your head is clearly overheated, I suggest you cease this foolishness and let us pass. We are expected by the mayor of Nashkel himself. The mayor of Nashkel himself, eh? You got the wrong guys. We're not part of any bandit gang. Really now? Why should we believe you? Um, <laughs> I love this answer, but if you say this, he will attack you. Uh, well, because of my warm smile and honest demeanor. Um, if we were bandits, why would we be walking out in the open? Come on, just let us go. We're not the people you're looking for. Alright, maybe I was wrong about the bunch of you. You're free to go. There we go. Yeah, have a good day, Dan Ray. 
Thanks for coming. And I think we're just about here at the bottom of the map. So, if we venture off road a little bit and come this direction. What games do I want to see at E3? Um, I mostly care about the Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC. <laughs> like, that's, that's the main thing I care about. Got some nasty hobgoblins here. Other than that, I'm always interested in seeing what Nintendo brings. I'm interested in hearing maybe a bit more Pokemon news, although we just got a Pokemon Direct, so I don't know if we'll be seeing anything else. Um, alright, so Hobgoblins had a scroll of Chill Touch, some Magic Boots, which are Zerlong's boots, a Bloodstone Gem, and a Zircon Gem. So there's some nice little loot there. And if we head north just a little bit, we find a cave. Tell me, you want it? You've got it. And this cave has five healing potions in it and 29 gold. Give it to me straight. Yay, grave robbing! Don't worry about me. Oh, more hobgoblins. My blade will cut you down to size. Go, go, go! I was really not in this. Come on, Khalid, you can do it. Not if you get stuck behind your wife. Alright. And they have a Warlock's Minor Drain. Pearl Necklace. And I eight gold. This. Good stuff. I think if we come over here a little bit, we will see, yeah. A submerged house. You have no idea how long it's been deserted. Shouldn't have built your house in the muck. That was your first problem. <laughs> Well, for the Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC, we know that, um, that that's coming out later this year. So, I feel pretty confident in saying that we'll probably see something at E3. Okay. I want to come over this way. Alright. In between maps, we got waylaid by a group of wild dogs. So we'll have to take care of these first. What you want? Emma Wynn might be level two and have more hit points, but her armor class still isn't great, so I want to keep her away from getting hit. There we go. I've got this. Taken care of. And these maps that you get waylaid on are just very tiny maps. So, let's go over here. All right. I've got this. No, stay back, lest this madness be catching. 
Uh, calm down. What is this madness of which you speak? I have been a rural merchant all my life, and thereby no stranger to poultry or any shade of color. To poultry of any shade or color. But there be a fiendish hen to the east that, when I picked her up, spoke to me in a voice almost human. Either I am in the chill grisp, grisps of the deepest fever, or that chicken be possessed by a spirit from the very depths of the ninth and final hell. Okay, I gotta see this. Er, here. I'm warning you, go no closer. It's possessed! Alright. So. Madness most foul. Kissig seems obsessed by his supposed encounter with a talking chicken. While I doubt his sanity, he claimed that the chicken lay east of him. If he's right, I need to hear this chicken for myself. We will check that out in momentarily. First things first. We're gonna come down this way. Oh, hi. I think, oh yeah, I'm further than I thought I was. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, oof. Oh, you okay, baby? What do you need? Is there any penalty from running away from melee enemies or disengaging? Um, no, I don't think so. All right, there we go. Uh, what the? You must show respect in nature's house. Duly noted, Jakira. What just happened with the ghoul is he ghouls have a bite that can hold people, and hold means that they can't move at all. They're they're. Like, essentially turned to stone, stone still. It wears off after a little bit. Jahira is no longer held. Um, but I just had to wait for that to pass. Alright. I want to head east. Oh, hello, wolf. My blade will cut you down to Ah, no, don't attack, I'm win. It might be that if you leave combat the enemies might get an attack of opportunity on you, but I don't remember if that's true or not. Give it to me straight. You want it? You've got it. Oof. Okay, we're gonna be a little beat up for this fight, this next fight coming up, You're but funny hopefully we can still do it. Shh! I'm spying on Basilisk and his spooks. They're funny. Oh, so this child found Basilis, who was a crazy guy that Mayor of Baragos wants us to take out. Uh... I've never heard of a funny spook before. Why are they so funny? Basilis keeps telling these stories about how happy he was as a kid, but all the spooks just kind of moan and mumble and stuff, like they're not really listening. That's what my brother Johnny used to do before he disappeared. Mumble like that when... He, when he weren't really listening, you stay here. I'm going to tell my friend Nettie about this place. She'll think it's really funny. What with her daddy gone and all. Ugh. Ugh. Um... Where, where did that show up? Yeah, poor young Footy is as tragically mad as everyone else in this dreadful place. He has been watching the foul basilisk, trying to spot his own family amongst the animated corpses, laughing at their antics as he does so. Guilt and innocence are so malleable in this affair. All I know is I cannot bear to let this depravity continue any longer. Yeah, we, we gotta do something about this. Whoop. There's some of those spooks. 
Okay, so this is another one of those situations where if you go about it a specific way, you can actually come out with a little bit of a different outcome than if you would just go in guns blazing. What do you need? So. We are going to try to do that. First, we're going to move some of this stuff. Spider, here you go. Er, Khalid, there you go. Have a spider. Uh, Emmeline can carry that. She should also take these. Give everybody some potions of healing. Oh, jeez, one of Khalid's swords broke, too. Yikes! Jahira. This wand might come in handy during this fight. Okay. Tell me. You've attacked? Yes. Cast Give Bless on straight. us. And I'm going to cast Armor. What do you need? I've got this. <laughs> oh, brother Therm, why not grace our ears with a ripping tale of the old days? <laughs> Always a delight. I love the voice acting in this game. It's so good. <laughs> Don't hesitate on my account. Some of the others may not have heard them. <sighs> Hold your peace then. Though I remember a time back at Zental Keep when you would soon sooner die than be quiet. You would... You would sooner... Um, I'll wait till you feel like telling them yourself. I don't remember the old days so well. You there, what is the meaning of this? Who dares interrupt while I speak with my family? I'll have your heads if you're here to harm them. No, no, it can't be. <gasps> is it you, father? It cannot be otherwise. You haven't changed a bit at all in these years. All right, so. This is where we start to work our talking magic. Um, oh, he must have saw Khalid first. Yeah, you can see this little indication means that he saw Khalid. All right, so this is Khalid talking. Uh, uh, yes, son. It certainly has been a long time. How are you doing, my boy? Oh, it's about as well as can be expected, I guess. It's been difficult. But I got most of the family back together. Some did not seem to recognize me at first, but I helped them recall. Uh, uh, no matter. I've not seen you since, um, Zental Keep. Thank the gods we all got out safely. Yes, though it was frightening for a time because I thought I was the only one of us who survived. I thought I was the only one who... The only one. You lie. You lie. You cannot be my father because he died when I left the... When I... All right. It is not I who lies, but you to yourself. You rob others of their loved ones to replace those you betrayed long ago. No, they lived. All of them. I saved them and they live. I... I ran. Dead. All dead. It isn't true. It cannot be. You lie! You will die for sliding my memory! It figures that such a twisted, vile wretch would have spawned from nowhere else but Zento Keep. A mad servant to an equally mad god. But worry not, you shall not so strife any longer, dirty Zent. You will see Sirik's glory when you rejoin the family, my lost sister. So yeah, this guy is a priest of Sirik, and if you guys know... D&D. Sirik is a very, very bad god. He's like, I think a god of... Like, he's literally the god of madness, I think. Alright, but because we jogged his memory and made him remember that he was the only one that survived, 
all of these skeletons and ghouls are going to die. Kill me. Thank goodness. It means we don't have to deal with them. I'm going to try and use this command sleep on Basilisk. It probably will not work because I'm pretty sure he is higher level than me. Uh, Jahira. Go in for the kill. Khalid, go in for the kill. Emowyn, use your wand. Hopefully disrupt his magic. Oh! Oh! My command sleep worked! Yes! Okay, sweet. So that knocked him down, and oh my gosh, this is gonna make this so much easier. Everybody, go in, kill, kill! Okay, now he's back up. That's not good. Emowyn, do the spell again. Yes, interrupt him. No, shoot. Emowyn, do it again. Yes, okay, good. That caused a spell to fail. No, 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 no. Yes, okay, good. Oh, jeez. And I can't do anything with Jahira because he did cast Rigid Thinking on her, which means that she will act of her own accord. And I can not control her. What do you need? And unfortunately, I cannot heal her either. What you want? Oh, please yep. kill him quickly. Yep. Emowyn, do it again. Is that Jahira? Yeah, it's Jahira. Ah, come on! Die, dude! Don't kill Jahira! No! 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 Dude, die! <sighs> we, we died. Yep. Reload. <laughs> Dang it. We got, mean? we did so well too you with that. You got it. With that, getting that command sleep. Like that should have annihilated him right away. But he is quite a bit stronger than us and we are still level one. Whoa, hey dude, what do you think you're doing? Get out of here, skeleton man. What? There's skeletons all over the place! Get out of here! Okay. You know what? I think... We're gonna move a little bit away. And I'm going to rearrange some of these spells to give me a better, better group of spells. Um, yeah, since I don't have a weapon like a melee weapon at the moment i'm gonna give myself that to give me a magical weapon uh get rid of that and get oh man uh i guess it's not a great spell, though. I'd rather ha have her hidden. Yeah, I'll put Bless back on. Or maybe... No. Okay. Tell me. Alright, we're gonna rest really quick. Nature servant awaits. As much as I admire, admire your desire to travel your own path, I must insist that we go to Nashkel soon. 
Don't worry, Jahira, we will. We are heading that direction. Give it to we me just straight. had to take some naps on the way. Because we are level one. Alright, let's all get over here. Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. Bless. Get yourself a magic weapon. What kind of potions do we have? Anything that'll help? Yeah. Khalid, drink that. I don't think the potion of invisibility is really going to help anyone here. Okay. Quick save. You want it? You've got it. Tell me. And in we go. <laughs> All right, dude. Uh, how you doing, my boy? Uh, get your zombie horde out of here. Huh, you're a queer fellow. Emmeline, start hitting him up with magic bullets or magic missiles. You've a task. Jahira, cast doom on him. Give it to me, straight. me, cast command. C uh, can I if none are better? Khalid, oh. go in swinging. <laughs> Okay, don't think... Yeah, my command sleep did not work this time. Uh-oh, I'm going to keep them coming. No, that is really bad. That is super, super really bad. Jahira draws attention. All right, Emmeline. So what he did uh, here is he made both he held both Khalid and um, my character Tanil. So they can't do anything anymore. Emmeline, just keep him from casting spells. Oh. Drink up to here. Stay healthy. Ow! What you want? Yes. Oh. Okay, let's try and kite him for a little bit. No! No! <laughs> no! All right, here we go again. The game is hard here at the beginning. Because you, I mean, it's hard all the time, because this is a D&D game, but like, you're level one, and being level one sucks. But I know I can do this, because I've done it before. Um, not seeing you the, the blah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you're a queer fellow. Hit him. Tell me. Let's get lucky with this command, yeah? Nature servant awaits. And give him that doom. Can I help you? Khalid going swinging. What you want? Emmeline just get another one ready. Give it to me straight. Go in. Yes, oh, um, good at the dog. And Jahira, swing at him. Yep. Emmeline. Yeah, interrupt his spells. Good job, good job. What do you need? Tell me, you want it? I got it. Yes! Oh! And that went super well! Yeah. Characters normally get ridiculously OP in late game in D&D &D where they stack all their buffs. Is that the same here? 
sort of, but I feel like Boulder's Gate does a pretty good job, um, like, scaling the difficulty of the game. And, like, especially in this game, there's actually a level cap pretty much around level 7 or 8. Um, so that's as high as your adventuring party can get experience-wise. So the game never gets too easy. Um, in Boulder's Gate 2, like, you can become ridiculously powerful, but there is some ridiculously powerful enemies for you to fight, too. Yeah, magic is very, uh, OP. This, this is AD&D 2, is the role system of this game. Alright, so, let's just loot Basilis himself. He has got a bloodstone amulet, some gauntlets, his holy symbol, which is the proof that we've killed him, and a warhammer, what do you need? which is the main Don't thing we were it. after here. I mean, don't get us wrong, or don't get me wrong, the, uh, the bounty on his head is definitely another reason we are tracking this guy down, because getting some gold would be super nice, but I mainly want the hammer. Alright, and now that we've taken care of Basilisk, let's finally try and go find that chicken. That talking chicken that guy was talking about. Oop. Clock! Wah! Macaw! Help, Macaw! Go, go, go! Oh, Khalid, please don't. Switch to arrows, buddy. Why me? Whew. We defeated Basilisk, but almost got taken out by a wolf. <laughs> Thank you, Cluck. You've saved Cluck, me. Forsooth, methinks you are no ordinary talking chicken. Or, I fear I've taken too many blows to the head. Next, I'll be hearing hamsters speak. And... Ah! Unholy magics are afoot! This chicken is possessed! This bird is foul! <laughs> um... Forsooth. I certainly hope they are cluck jesting with me. I am indeed no ordinary talking chicken, and I am in need of your cluck help. Uh, my apologies, good, uh, chicken. What has caused your current accursed state? <sighs> Thank the cluck mother of all magic. Mayhaps I know might end this cluck nightmare. I'm Melicamp of Belagost, a cluck mage adept in the mystical arts. I uh, misread incantation seems to cluck be the source of my troubling form. Tis been over a month since I cluck uttered a polymorph spell and I simply cannot return to my normal cluck form. Um, is there anyone who might be able to assist you? I fear I have little in the way of magical power myself. Blast it all. Well, there is nothing else I cluck can do except my most hated option. There is a tower directly to the west of Cluck Baragost, about which can be found the mage Thalantir. I am his apprentice, and I am certain he will cluck aid me. Well... For being his apprentice, you sure seem unsure about his willingness to help you. Oh, tis nothing, click, cluck. Really? Um, often the relationship between apprentice and master is strained. He will help, I am certain. Well, then to his abode we shall go. I will escort you. Thank you. It is located just west of Baragost. Thalantir lives in a large manor there. I'll just nestle in your pack until we get there. And with that, we get Melicamp the chicken in our inventory. Let's see, where is he? Who'd he talk to? He talked to Jahira. 
So here he is. <laughs> Good bird. <laughs> Oh, Shahira, my baby, my lovely, please heal me. And then please heal your husband. Lovely. Alright. Let's get out of here. I've had enough of this map. Back to High Hedge. Oh, of course we have. Here are Gibberlings. By the way. Ow! Run away! Run away! Go! Get out of here! I care not. Why? Tell me. We're level one. We're so weak. Oh, skeletons, man. Nature servant awaits. Give it to me straight. All right. You want it? You got it. Oh my gosh. Do we just Okay, fine, fine. We're just going to fight everything. What do you need? I've got this. Stop. Ammo in. I swear. You two need to stop trying to kill yourselves. Give it to me you. Straight. Switch to that. You. Oh, jeez. You're seriously out of arrows. Oh, man. I'm gone. I am a right mess, y'all. What do you need? No, that was not a werewolf. That was a... Uh... A fl flind? Fl fl find? Find? Big dogish guy. All right. We need to go talk to Thalantir, and then we need to go back to Baragos and rest up, because holy cow, our little Tell adventuring me. party is on the brink of death. All right. Very important to save here before I talk to Thalantir. Well, it's rather amusing, actually. You see, I happened to rescue this, um, talking chicken. Chickens do not talk, so quite obviously it is a polymorphed being of some kind. Spells such as that wear off in time or can be dispelled. Tis a simple matter and not worth the waste of my day. Keep moving. I am quite well aware of the mute status of chickens, thank you very much. This... Yes, this is a transformed man, but it is also a man who claims to be your apprentice. That is why I brought him here. Apprentice? I have no apprentice. I teach no one about what I... Wait, Mellencamp? Mellencamp, is that you? Yes, Master Thalantir, it is Cluck I. I am no master to you, and you are no apprentice. What gall do you have to expect help from me? Uh, is he not your student? But you do know of him, do you not? A student wishes to learn, while this fool wishes only to have knowledge. I will tutor no one who does not understand the ramifications of what I have to teach. Not getting the quick gratification he wished, he instead chose to steal from me. You speak of so much, but show so little. I only wish to cluck, learn a fraction of the power you possess. It has taken me some fifty-odd years of life to gain the power I wield, and the will not to use it. You are but a baby in comparison. Frankly, I'm surprised you changed yourself into such an old chicken. How did you manage that, by the by? You were muddling the simplest cantrip last I observed you. I have progressed much since then, and I cluck borrowed a few items to speed the process. As I thought, well, it's obvious you can steal my tools, but not my understanding of them. Hold still while I dispel this foolish facade. Can't very well have my property back while it's polymorphed into you- Wait a moment. I do not possess any items that allow the casting of that enchantment. Wait. Oh dear. Melon Camp, listen very carefully. What did you take? Nothing too valuable, I swear. Just some 
cluck components, uh, a few scrolls, a uh, beat a pair of bracers, a uh, blank spell book, some parchment, a pair of... Oh, you little fool! Those bracers were... The bracers locked in my... Tr the bracers in my locked and trapped safe? I certainly hope you can develop a taste for chicken feed because you're going to be stuck the way you are for a very long time. I know I stole from you, but you can't leave me like this. Please, Master Thalantir. Please, Cluck. It's not a matter of whether I wish to help or not. Simply that I do not have the power to undo what you have done. Uh, what sort of item could cause such a problem even for a mage such as yourself? The magic that so many revere today was not always the same as it, as it is now. Any adventurer worth their salt should know this, and know that not every bauble they ring from a dungeon will be helpful. The bracers in question were a vain little reminder of... Well, it really doesn't matter, does it? Suffice it to say that I have no idea what their intended function, function was, and I was in no position to ask their former owner. Years have passed since my release, and the spoils of that netheral ruin remain as enigmatic as ever. They resist even the strongest divination, and attempts to dispel result in only, only in explosive consequences. Some things should just stay buried. Um, is there nothing that can be done? I'm willing to help however I can. If you are willing, then I will do what must be done. We will need a component that I do not have on hand, and it will be your job to get it. I will require the head of an undead creature, and a simple and a simple skeleton skull will do. I think it means any or yeah. Skeleton skull will do. Bring it back here and I will try to bend a few magical rules to reincarnate this foolish boy. Or reincarnate. But does that spell not require the cluck recipient to be dead? There must be a dead element, yes, that is what the skull is for. I cannot fully explain what I am about to try, but it is something of a reversal of the reincarnation scheme. The age of enchant of the enchantment that changed you may allow for a loophole in the laws of magic. Of course, it may just kill us both in the casting. Such is life. Off you go to some dungeon or, or another. Return with the skull. Go. I already picked up a skull. Ha ha ha. Planning ahead. So, I'm going to save again because, like Thalantir just said, this can turn out many different ways. It can go perfectly well, which is the event we are going to aim for, and he will be returned to a human. It can kill Thalantir. It can kill Melencamp. Uh, and then it can kill both of them. And I don't want either of those things to happen. So... Why do I live in such a pissant town? Hello again, my young adventurers. I see you have the needed component. Well, shall we see if our young man regains his life? Or will he eventually be someone's fest hall dinner? He turned back into a human and then died. And that, as they say, is that. I fear our young friend did not survive the casting, and I feel a touch weary myself. Such are the ways of magic, unpredictable at the best of times. Do not feel responsible for his death. There is little more that we could have done. His body simply couldn't withstand the change once again. A lesson, I suppose, for the rest of us. Take good care to... Good... Take good care to treat found items with respect. If you'll excuse me, I have some work to do. I imagine you've a dungeon to storm somewhere. I wish you intelligence, because luck runs out. And that is basically a lesson about this game in general, is, hey, dummy, if you find an enchanted item, don't put it on without identifying it first, because you might have a bad time. Um, we are going to reload. What do you need? You Why want it? You've got it. Alright, come on! Hey! 
and that, as they say, is that. I have arms, arms and hands and feet and, and, oh, thank you, Master Thalantir, thank you. Yes, yes, boy, now be quiet a moment. Blast it, the bracers are no longer on him. It is as I feared. Likely they either spent what magic they had on a single charge, or it is their want to be whisked away after inflicting the damage they do. I had hoped to see them away, but now it's certain they will fall into the hands of some other unfortunate fool. Tell me, Melonkamp, do you feel quite yourself again? I... I think so. Good. Though it was the greatest luck you did not retain a wing for a limb. You always were a bit cockeyed, but I suppose that doesn't count. I suggest you remain here, however, so that I might keep an eye on you. If you insist on playing with forces of magic, at least I should see what you that you understand them. Perhaps you will be a touch more cautious now that you have experienced what can go wrong. Yes, Master Thalantir. Oh, I suppose your master I must be. And you, Tenille. I trust you will be cautious in your travels as well. I wish you intelligence on your journey. I would wish you luck, but it runs out much quicker than you would think. Good day. And we gained 2,000 experience. That is awesome. And our reputation increased by one. Another reason you want to make sure you get the correct ending for this. Plus, you know, it would really suck if Thalantir died. Because, like I said, he has some of the best, uh, like, things you can buy in the game. And if he would die, you can't get it. You can't just loot it off his corpse. So that would be really unfortunate. Oh. And both Khalid and I level up. This this is just wonderful. I love it. All right, Khalid, your Thacko reduced by one. Your additional hit points, 13. And lore increased by one. And me, 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 me. All right, skill points, 25, four. Lore increased by three. Let's raise our pickpocketing skills to 55 and our open locks to 50. Get lame, you should be able to loot it all, just instantly win the game. Yeah, I think that's why they don't let you do that. <laughs> Ugh, lovely. Now did I, I'm still a cleric level one. I just leveled up in thief. So, oh gosh, look, I'm so close. <laughs> oh, I'm so close to leveling up as a cleric. Oh man, that was a nice bit of experience. Gorion would be proud of your actions. Oh, Don't thank you, Khalid. Whoops, let's all go Keep together. To straight. And let's save, because who knows, we could run what into something need? nasty. Nature servant away. Tell me, don't worry about oh, me. Oh, we need to make it back to Baragost. I want to do one more thing. Give it to me straight. Okay. You couldn't have made a better choice. Yeah, Jahira, you're gonna lead the party for now. Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. As good as done. And hopefully, woo. Hopefully this will mean Emowyn and I. Oh, Emowyn, that's right, you don't have anything. Yeah, Emowyn, no. We want to take out these nulls. Because last time, we met a gnome who said that some nasty gnolls had... Stolen his sword. Was I fighting up front? I was fighting up front. Why was I fighting up front? Oh me, why did I not notice that? Don't worry about me. You couldn't have made a better Jahira. Alright. Jahira, Khalid. What do you need? You! Use your stinking bullets! And don't get chomped by a knoll. I got knolls. And Emily, just stand behind me. Shahira, drink a potion. Come on. 
Take this guy out. Oh, Khalid. Switch to a sword, honey. Job. All right. Tell me. Take out the next one. For as big as these guys are, they're actually kind of pushovers. Ooh. Oh, Khalid is running away. Khalid, please don't, honey. What do you need? Good job. Khalid has very, very low morale because he's a coward. Um, <laughs> I love him, but it's true. And he will be more likely to become feared and run away. And he'll say things like, better part of valor, better part of valor. Yeah. So I cast a spell on him to make him brave again. And so that I could heal him. Oh, Emmeline, don't. Come on. Oh, Khalid, go ahead and drink a potion. Don't do it, Emmeline. Tell me, I've got this. Excuse me. No, leave me alone. Give it to me straight. There we go. And we finally get Purdue's short sword. Oh my goodness. So we can return that to him. I think we are just gonna come right back up here. Get out of here. As you direct. Make our way over here to Filled Post Inn and get some rest. You want some whiskey? Nature servant awaits. Shahira, heal the party. Good on you if you save the day. Yep. Let's make sure she gets the spell done. There we go. Alright, and now... Oh, now I'm gonna switch these spells up again. Um, what is Bless? I need to reread Bless. Upon uttering the Bless spell, the caster raises the morale of friendly creatures by one. Furthermore, it raises their attack and damage rolls by one. Um... Yeah, Bless is a good spell to keep around. So yeah, we'll do Cure Light Wounds. And for myself, we won't need that anymore. Here real soon. But I think I'm going to do another command. Because I think having a second command to do in case the first one doesn't work yes, oh, omnipresent will be a good idea. As you direct. What do you need? And we're actually you going to take our armor it. off and we're going to do a little exploring around the inn and see if there is any fun little trinkets we can pick Don't up. Worry about me. Now that we're a level two, our thieving skills are slightly better. Nothing in there. This is a nice inn, though. Hello, traveler. Hey, 
Get out of me way, you crummy log head. Plenty of other rooms for you, if you please. I paid for mine in full, and I don't feel the need to double up, as it were. All right. We also have this named NPC, Algernon, here. What you want? This is my room and I don't want visitors. Now leave me alone. Well, Algernon, that is just rude. It sure would be a shame. <laughs> Pickpocket succeeded. If you lost something, we got a cloak. This is Algernon's cloak. This cloak uh, is enchanted, so we will be identifying that soon. Tell me, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I'm also interested, not because I think he has anything to say, but I'm just interested in what this cook has to yes. say. Hey, you stays out of my kitchen. You'll mess up my art. Some days I'm gonna cook for the Duke himself. Bet you there's less fist fights in the palace, so you can enjoy a meal from start to finish. <laughs> Dream on, guy. You've a task? All right. For the group. I got some cheap beer for ya. Let's rest one more time. Now, does that put it back at night? Hour 17. No, it's still daytime. Great. Let's put our armor back on. And what's our lore? Our lore is 13. What's MON's? 13. So we have an equal chance to identify things. Yeah, we can't identify any of this on our own. All right. Got some cheap beer for ya. Yeah. So, we have a few side quests we can turn in. First one that comes to mind is we can go over here and give that note back to Marianne. Good as done. Okay. Calm yourself, dear. Oh! We must proceed carefully. Instead, our characters want to banter with each other. So, okay, Khalid. What? Oh, Emmawin, I wish you wouldn't d -d do that. I'm just practicing my sneaking up on people. Didn't mean to scare ya. Well, you d -d didn't quite. Hey, come on, how am I gonna improve if I don't practice? I I'd say you have the basics down very well. Next time, warn me what you are up to. That will make a real t test for your abilities. <laughs> yep, you're on. Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. Oh, we Everybody switches. listen to me now. Uh give it to me. So Emily is terrorizing poor Khalid. Salutations. And Marianne reads the note. Oh, and says, Oh, thank you so much for good tidings. Please let me give you this ring to keep you safe in your travels. So we obtained a ring. We lost the scroll that she got. And we got 300 experience. And Emmelwyn leveled up. Did I not level up? I'm six experience away! <laughs> okay, Emmelwyn leveled up though. She's already a level three! That is sick. I love it. Okay. Find traps, girl. Done. What do you need? You want it? You've got it. You want it? You've got it. Next, let's go back over here to this temple. Don't worry about me. And turn in that quest for taking care of the mad cleric uh, basilisk. Because that'll give us some spending money. I've got this. Don't touch me. I'm super important. <laughs> Don't touch me. I'm super important. 
By the morning, Lord, I see you have the holy symbol of Basilisk. It must have been quite a difficult battle to take down such a powerful man. Yours is a service that will not be forgotten. It is a pleasure to give you the full reward which you have worked. Yes, I would have expected such opulence from these Lethanderites in rewarding us. There is splendor and excessiveness in everything they do. It is so out of balance, but all in all, at least they appreciate that a good deed has been done. Your help was indeed much appreciated. Boom! And we get another thousand experience and five thousand gold. We've leveled up. Oh yeah. All right, and we get an additional level one priest spell and another five hit points. So, she is too good for this world. I love her. She throws so much shade and people people complain about Jahira because she's like a bossy naggy wife but I, I love her I love her so much um I think we'll get the armor of faith back it doesn't do much at level one but it does get better as time goes on maybe I should do protection from evil instead You know what? Yeah. I should do protection from evil instead. I think this will be a better... Yeah. Yeah, this will be a better enchantment for me early on in the game than... Tell me. Um, what is it? Armor of Faith? Yeah, Armor of Faith is. Okay! Don't worry about me. So, we've taken care of that... We're taking care of... Uh, we haven't done that. We have done this. We can return to Friendly Arm Inn, but I don't really want to go all the way back there for that. We do have Purdue Short Sword. And we have one other thing. Don't worry about me. Oh, also as a funny little tidbit. There's all kinds of funny little weird things in this game that you can find. But if we go up here, where is he? Huh, he might not, be oh, there he is. There's a drunk. <laughs> Hello guys, how's you doing? <laughs> I kind of got lost on my way home. Anyways, that don't matter no more. Give me all your monies. Uh, look fella, we're not gonna give you all our money. Wrong answer, girls. <laughs> you should have given me all the monies when I asked ya. You know what I am? I'll let you into a little secret. I'm a lich! Yes, I am. Powerful magics I wield. And now, you made me mad. I got, you got one last chance. Give me all your money. Yeah. Uh, look guy, we're not gonna give you any money. Now bug off. Whoa, you guys just don't get it, do ya? I'm gonna kill ya with all my mighty magical powers. So now what's it gonna be? Death or, or, or something? We're leaving now, bye. Hey, what are you? Uh, and then he passes out unconscious. Bye dude. I'm sure you'll make it home eventually. <laughs> You want it? You've got it. Alright, just a hop, skip, and a jump over here to the Red Chief Inn. Well, I don't think it's an inn. I think it's just a bar. But over here to the Red Chief. We can Give return. I've got this. Is that Purdue? Yep, Purdue Sword. Yeah. 
that thing's a bit of both Hmm. Figured he'd eaten it by now. Hope you ran him through once or twice to get it, at least. Now take your 50 gold and be gone. Oh yeah, not very grateful, what but whatever. Don't worry about me. Not every side quest is worth doing, but it's still kind of fun to show it off anyway. Oh yeah, liches are super annoying. There is no way a, a party in this game could really take on a lich. So yeah, we're gonna go in here to the burning wizard. Maybe, if everybody can get through the door. And we see a character here called Zerlong. And we actually picked up Zerlong's boots out in the wild. So maybe we should talk I to this guy. This. Damn blasted hobgoblin bullies pulled the boots right off my own two feet and headed into the Badlands right south of Bear Ghost. I'll pay you a hundred gold pieces to show them who's boss and get those boots back. Hey, isn't that Keldath Omlar? And he says that and then the party has lost 25 gold, so he just pickpocketed us. A pesky thief named Zerlong has been pickpocketing me... Uh, every time I try to get a word in edgewise, and I'd rather not cause a scene. He did mention losing some boots to... Is it? There we go. He did mention losing some boots to hobgoblins in the Badlands south of the city. I get the sense that returning those boots to him may be the only way to make peace and have my money returned. Zerlong can be found in the Burning Wizard. So yeah, we're gonna talk to him again. I wish I had my old tobacco pipe. You're a godsend! Uh... Here's all that gold I took from you. I may be a kleptomaniac, but at least I'm an honorable one, right? And here's a hundred gold pieces for your help, too. Consider it a down payment on your pocket. Huh. So much ado about some stupid boots. And you know what, Tenille? In these, in these boots, he'd only become better at stealthing. So let's keep our eyes on our money while we're around here. Who, me? Yeah, if we would identify those boots, they would be, um, I Don't think they're called, like, me. the Boots of Stealth, or something like that. Worn Whispers, I think is their actual name. And they're just boots that help with your, like, move silently skill, and that's not really something I'm going to be using, so I figured I'd give them back to them. I don't really need to keep them. All right. Back over here to Thunderhammer. Don't worry about me. We finally have some proper spending money. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than the competition. So let's identify some of the stuff we've got. Oh yeah, Marianne gave us another one of those rings of protection. So that's another place you can get one of these rings. These rings are fairly common. You can get them pretty much anywhere. But it's still nice to get them as early as possible. Because the earlier you can get them, the better. Because you're super, super weak to begin with. Um, so I don't even know if I'll bother spending the money to identify this right away. Since I know what it is. And for the record, I also know what these other things are. But because for you guys, this is like probably your first time experiencing the game. I want to do it properly and like show what you would have to do normally um, to see what they are and not just be like, oh, well I know what all these items are so I'm just gonna use them and not explain it. So yeah, that's my reasoning for that. Does Khalid have anything? No. Chahira, no. Emily, no. Okay. So, for killing Basilis, we got Ashadina plus two. Oh, I love this hammer so much. Uh, Lady Ashadina was a remarkable strategist who honed her skills against the orc enemies in the year of the Black Horde. She met Durgat Wiltoon, the warrior that wielded this weapon, when he foiled an ambush led by the great orc Barstock, and soon after him and soon after made him her field captain. After serving at each other's side for the entirety of the war, they fell in love and eventually married. 
Historians report that Durgat named his warhammer after his bride to remind himself of the love he fought to protect, but Lady Ashadina thought of this as unknown. So yeah, this warhammer is sweet! It is a 1d4 plus 3 plus 1 electrical damage, and that 1 electrical damage can be really important because sometimes you have enemies that are immune to physical attacks, but electrical damage is considered like a magic attack. So even if you if you get a hit in and none of the physical damage goes through, that one electrical damage will still happen. Or will still have a chance of happening anyway. So yeah, let's equip that. Um, off of Basilisk, we also got Elendar's Gloves of Misplacement, Gauntlets of Fumbling. With mischief in mind, the impetuous Elandar set out to craft these cursed gauntlets to best arrival. It turns out his malice got the best of him when he mistook these gloves for another pair. Whoops. So yeah, these give you Thacko minus 10, Dexterity minus 2, and may only be removed with a remove curse spell. Bad things all around. Do not want. We will definitely be selling that. And then, Algernon's Cloak! <laughs> Algernon's cloak is imbued with magical properties such that the wearer will seem to shine with an inner glow. This will give us Charisma plus two and the Charge Ability Charm Creature, which is pretty sweet. Charm Creature can make it so that they stop attacking us and we'll start working on our side. So that can come super in handy. And since I only have a Charisma of nine, we're gonna give Tanil a little glow up. Yay, we're so much more likable now. And let's go ahead and give this ring over to Jahira to help out with her armor class. Okay. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Ugh. These gauntlets only get one, so I wasted 99 gold on them. That stinks. I didn't just sell the bottle of wine, did I? Okay, no. Good. Still, yeah, I still have it. That would have been embarrassing. Alright. Um... Could definitely buy plate mail. Do I want it? It's 900 gold. Mm, I think I'm gonna ho hold off. We definitely need to get Emma win some arrows. Yeah. No, that's probably gonna be fine. And let's, to pass bullets up, let's pick up, uh, does he only have one sling plus one? I think he does. Let's pick up a sling plus one. Oh, he does have a short bow plus one. That's nifty. But I don't think I'm going to pick that up right now. Yeah, let's get some bullets. Alright. And even though we still got a ton more money, we're, we're going to hold off. So I'm going to give... Actually, I'll keep that and I'll give Jahira the sling plus one. Because she's still a bit more squishier than I am. Like, I think... Yeah, she has more hit points, but her armor class isn't quite as good. So we'll give her the better, like, defensive weapon. Give her some more bullets. Still want her using her club most of the time, though. Okay. And let's see. Emma win. Re-equip this stuff right away, please. All right. 
think we're good. Do stats on items always stay the same if you were to reload a save after identifying everything? Oh, like, is the loot random at all? Is that what you're talking about? If so, no. It's, it's the same every single time. So, like, every time I go through this game, I know exactly, like, what loot is here and what loot is there and what it is, even if it's unidentified. Like, like it's not random in any kind of way. You want it? You've got it. Okay, I think... I think that's all we can do here for now. So, let's continue traveling south. Yeah, we almost made it all the way down the road here. I've got this. Tell me. Ooh. This is our first instance of kobolds. <laughs> I've done had enough of this. Give it to me straight. Kobolds aren't too difficult to handle. We mostly have to hit them. <laughs> what do you need? Oh, ammo. Oh, there you go. And they just had a few goodies on them. It? You've got it. Don't worry about me. So now we continue on our way. Kobolds and catacombs. Yeah, no problem. I'm glad you could answer your question. Or I'm glad I guessed correctly on what your question was. <laughs> Alright. Got a little twist in the road here. And more hobgoblins. Oh, I thought in this. Quite a bit of hobgoblins, actually. Um, Tell me. Oh, I didn't rest. Hmm. We'll probably be fine, hopefully. Give it to me straight. Oh, I'm still mean? using bullets. Get in there with Ashadina, girl! You got this awesome warhammer now. Time to show it off. See if we can see that electrical damage. It doesn't always happen. It's one of those things that's, that it has a chance to do some electrical damage. So I want to point it out whenever it happens. So far, nothing's happened yet. Yeah, there we go. There was that electrical damage. We'll probably be fine, hopefully. That is me all the time during this game. <laughs> we'll probably be fine. Oh, I shit, we're dead. What do you Whoops. Mean? Yeah, my hammer does glow. I, I love this hammer so much. It is one of the reasons why I almost always want to use some kind of character that... Um, that can wield a hammer, because it's just so good. Gold, gold, gold. Color spray. A gem. Don't worry about me. Anything else? Give it to me straight. Nope, oh, that seems to be the majority of it. Although it looks like these hobgoblins killed this family over here. So they also have the Cole Colette's family amulet. Uh, so we'll have to see if we can find who whose Tell family me. this belongs Don't to. Don't worry about me. Give them the unfortunate news about the family.
And there is not much on this road other than this encampment of hobgoblins. We're already through this map. And, uh, you know, I could explore the blackness, but just from, you know, my own experience with these games, I can tell you, like, there's not much here. That's why I just continue forward. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. So onward we go. Don't touch me. I might catch some. Hello, Lord Foreshadow. Well, don't you just add to the local color. Quite the smashing bit of dress you wear there. I'll have to look for such sundries when I next attend one of Lord Ribald's full dress costume affairs. <laughs> I'll be the talk of Neverwinter, I would. Um. Am I to understand you are from that faraway city? Oh, I actually hail from Waterdeep. The great city of splendors has much more in the manner of social luxury suited towards my particular tastes. I do, however, make a point of keeping in touch with Neverwinter, though I have only visited once previously. It was quite popular in those nights, if I recall correctly. I'm going to make a second trip in the coming year. I'll wager it will be as popular again. So yeah, there's a cheeky little thing done by the developers to foreshadow the game they would be working on next, Neverwinter Nights. Can we go there someday, huh, Tenille? It sounds like fun. Of course, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Great, that means I'll have to start making plans for it. You do that, Emmeloid. All right. And we've made it to Nashkel. With your hurried flight from Candlekeep barely behind you, the troubles facing the Sword Coast seem an unfamiliar blur to your fractured nerves. Gorion would not have you sit idle, however. And perhaps investigating local concerns will shed some light on your own predicament. How the iron shortage or the trouble in the Nashkill mines could possibly be linked to you, you have no idea. All right, here we are. Give it to me straight. I've got this. Army and soldiers are stand away, citizen. Patrolling the town. Bardolin, identify yourselves. Uh, I am Tenniel, and this is my band of fellow adventurers. I fear this is a troubled region of late. Allow us to put yourself put ourselves at your disposal during our stay here. If you're seeking to resolve troubles, welcome. If you're seeking to cause them, kindly take it elsewhere. Things are not good here, Tenniel. Uh, what things aren't good? All I've heard are rumors and vague suspicions. Hi. What is good around here anymore? Our iron is run and there is talk of demons in the mines. The lower levels have all but been abandoned until this crisis passes. And then there is the question of Commander Bragg. Ugh. They have stripped him of that title, but I, but I use it yet. He killed his wife and children in a rage one night and all who saw him. Then he tore himself away and headed for the hills. He's out there still, and still we mourn. As much for him as for those he's taken. Fie on you now. You've brought a tear to the eyes of a soldier. Ooh. So I've arrived in Nashkel. If I'm going to look into the Iron Crisis, I should speak with someone in power who might have useful information for me. Perhaps the mayor will be of some help. Alright. So we've got the Nashkill Inn here, Nashkill Store. We just recently stopped though at a store in an inn, so we don't really need to worry about that. Hey, Baron Gaskill. Hello there, I recognized you here in your group, so you must be the adventurers I was expecting. I am Baron Gaskill, Mayor of Nashkill, and I'm happy to welcome you. I'm sorry we had to meet under so, under these circumstances. Uh, what exactly is the trouble here? Can't believe you haven't guessed. 
Have you heard of the iron shortage? Well, Nashkel is in the thick of it. Our mines are all but shut down because the workers continually go missing. And what ore we do have is tainted somehow. I would send in the town guards, but we need them to protect our citizens from the bandits that raid our caravans. We need you to find out what's wrong in the mine southeast of town. I'll do what I can. Thank you. You'll be the toast of the town if you can help. Onwards we march, then, to Neil. As this is your first mission, I fear that my skills as a healer will be heavily tested. <laughs> Thanks, Jahira. Nevertheless, I will try to return us all to Baron in one piece and victorious. And if we go up here, we can see that this is the Temple of Helm. What's even more fun, however, is these gravestones. Ben's last words. I regret nothing! And, oh. Forever to be remembered, Marcia. Beasts we are, least we beasts become. And I think these are all gravestones that were submitted by, like, developers. So they could be, like, little jokes or... Uh, mostly little jokes, and some of them are a bit more serious. But the reports of my death have been greatly underestimated, James. Here lies Rick, who was always a few links shy of a chain. <laughs> Here lies Kelly, an atheist all dressed up and no place to go. Here lies Scott. Sleep? I don't need no stinking sleep. <laughs> Uh, I was Nashkel born and Nashkel bred, and here I lay, Nashkel dead. <laughs> These are all great. Yeah, yeah, Pillars of Etern Eternity did have similar memorials where, uh, where they were backers. That was neat. Oh, you have returned, and so soon. But no, say not another word. I would not think of making you wait but a moment for your just reward. When the council told me they had procured Grey Wolf to rid the wolves of the bandit Tonquin, I knew we could expect swift justice. I would not have predicted success this quickly, but who else could be striding into town looking, uh, looking as you do? Please accept this meager sum of 200 gold pieces, as well as the heartfelt thanks of all of Nashkel. All right, so this guy runs the bounty hunting here in Nashkel, and he thinks we are the mercenary Grey Wolf. And we can either lie and say that we are a Grey Wolf and take that 200 gold, in which he will eventually find us out and be very mad at us, and we won't be able to do any other um, missions for him. Or we can be like, Tell the truth, and you must have some mistake. I'm not this Grey Wolf. Keep your money, it's not mine to take. You are not Grey Wolf the Bounty Hunter? Oh, sweet helm, I almost gave 200 gold pieces to a complete stranger? The captain must not hear of this. He'd have my hide. Thanks be to your honesty, stranger. There are those who would not have done as such. Good on you if you save the day. And yeah, reputation increases. Ryan would be proud of your actions. Thank you, thank you. Alright guys, you ready to meet the best character? Cuz, we, we, we about to do it. Let me get a drink. <sighs> okay. Hello, Minsk. Stand and deliver. That my hamster might have a better look at you. Y'all, it's Jim Cummings, and this is Mansk. Let us pass, strangers, for we have not much time to waste. What? Yes, I'll ask them. Abu and I go to rescue my charge, Dainer. You may aid in our victory if you wish. There is glory enough for all. Uh, excuse me, but are you speaking to a rodent? Boo is my faithful animal companion, and more than he seems. Uh, 
The classic dilemma of the damsel in distress. How could anyone decline? Take heart, fellow adventurers, for you have curried the favor of Boo, the only miniature giant space hamster in the realm. My friend and companion, ever since my <laughs> head wound, he will lead us to victory. Onward to the Knoll stronghold in the west. Tarry not, we must go soon. Wow, a damsel in distress, and a brave warrior to come rescue her. I wish that would happen to me. Actually, no, I don't. I don't mind the brave warrior, so long as he's handsome. But the part about being in danger I could do without. Mids will rescue a nice girl like you. Fear not. But now is glorious Dinahair that we need rescue. Onward, friends! And with that, Minsk is now a part of our team! Yes, miniature giant space hamster. So, this is Minsk. You point, I punch. Let's talk more fight. Cool one. You point, less squeaky wheel gets the kick. Cool one. You point, less talk cool. You point, less talk cool. You point, come on. Let's talk more. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Watch it. I'm huge. When the going gets tough, someone hold my rodent. There'll be safety in numbers. And I am two or three at least. Make way, evil! I'm armed to the teeth and fucking a hamster! Cool one! <laughs> oh, Minsk is a ranger, but he's kind of a special class of ranger that breaks the rules. Uh, he's neutral good, human. Um, he can go into a berserker form. So he's kind of a ranger berserker, uh, but he's awesome. As you can see, his stats are wonderful. He is a strength of 18 uh, slash 93, which means he a, has a very high 18 strength score. Uh, dexterity is 15, not great, but we'll, we'll fix that. Uh, constitution, 15, it's not bad, it has an 8 intelligence, 6 wisdom, and 9 charisma. <laughs> uh, let's look at his biography. When asked about his past, Minx proudly announces that he is a berserker warrior from the nation of Rashomon in the Utter East. He is currently undertaking his Dajima, a ritual journey to manhood, and is seeking adventure and glory in battle. It is also his honor to be the bodyguard of a young white, oh gosh, white Charlin, white Charlon of Rashomon named Dinahair. And if anyone tries to harm her, he will beat sense into their heads until they reconsider. He is unsure as to why she has led them to the Sword Coast, but his loyalty is unquestioning. If he serves her well and distinguishes himself in battle, he hopes to be accepted into the Ice Dragon Berserker Lodge upon returning to their homeland. So far, Minx considers his most notice, noticeable, notable experience in the world abroad to be the acquisition of his animal companion, Boo, a creature that he claims is a miniature giant space hamster. Apparently, such things do exist in the realms, but Minx has surely taken too many blows to the head. He seems a good nature fellow, but is all too willing to indulge in his berserker nature. You weren't kidding when you said this game had some A-list voices. Yeah! Uh, so, he also has Boo in his inventory. <laughs> Boo scuttles away as you try and grab him, and Minx stops any further attempt to steal the animal with a harsh glare. <laughs> so, yeah, Boo always sits in Minx's uh, quick item slots, which means you can only give Minx two. It's kind of a trade-off for all of his other stuff, and just also just like a bit of goofiness the developers added. Um, we are definitely keeping Minx in our party. So, the important thing to note is, though, that we need to do Minx's side quest pretty quickly. Because if we don't complete it in, I think it's 10 days, Minx will think we are um, trying to trick him. And he'll go berserk and try and kill us. So, we don't want that to happen. And, by the way, that is something that can happen with 
several different NPCs is if you don't do their quest in a certain amount of time, um, they'll leave you. Jahira kind of did that earlier where she was saying, you know, like, oh, you know, I admire your want to travel, but we Tell need me. to get to Nashkel. Khalid and Jahira wouldn't leave you. They're one of the few NPCs that won't. Like, Emmawyn will never leave you. Jahir and Khalid will leave you if you do really bad things. Um, Give it to me straight. And your reputation gets low enough. So, like, if you kill a city guard, they'll get really upset and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but they're, they're generally a bit easier to, to keep happy. But Minx here really wants to go find his ward. So... We are going to be doing that next. Nashkel Mines be damned. Okay, and first things first, as we're going to come across here. And we're going to meet what is arguably the second best character in this game. But he is evil aligned, and he directly opposes what Minx wants to do. So we're going to have none of that. But I do want to talk to him. This is Edwin. Go no further. I require the services of your crew. Yes, they will do nicely. So anything in, uh, anything in like brackets here? is stuff that Edwin whispers under his breath to himself, but you can always hear it, but he he's an idiot and thinks you can't hear him. Is this what I have to work with? Pathetic, but it will have to do. I am Edwin, and I would have you work for me, but it's a simple chore of killing the witch Dinahair. Do you accept the task? You want to kill Minsk's witch? Your witch? Of all the adventurer groups in Farron, I had to ask these particular baboons. Yes, my witch! Be gone, sleazy red lizard, lest Boo have your eyes. Sleazy, I bathed this morn, which is more than I can say about this gorilla. Yes, sleazy, now go before I set my hamster on you. It is not your call, you overfed, overfed monkey! Yes, that'll do. <laughs> Sleazy red lizard. Yeah, Edwin, if it's not clear by the uh, red cloak that he is wearing, he is a red wizard of Thay. And uh, in D&D, the red wizards of Thay are definitely an evil organization of wizards. Uh, why would you have this woman dead? Am I to kill her without knowing? Frankly, yes. It is no concern of yours. You need but perform the act with no questions. What is your answer? <laughs> and the reason he wants Dinah Hair dead is because they're from like opposing wizarding f factions. Uh, so you can actually have Edwin and Minsk on your team for for a while, and I think you can work it out so they can both be on your team. Um, but you have to, like, play it super careful. But then when you actually find Dinah here, you're gonna have to make a choice. And then you can only have one or the other. Um, so... I'll have nothing to do with your murderous plans. No, no matter. Others will do just as well. Are you still here? Be gone. See, wizard? See, wizard? None- no one here wants you- your kind around. Now be gone, before Boo can no longer contain himself and shows you the might of his warrior spirit. Idiot. <laughs> oh, one of these days I'll play an evil party with Don't Edwin on my team. He is a really, really good wizard. Like, really skilled. He's got great stats, but, um, but he's evil, so screw him. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nuber. Nice place, huh? Yeah. Hey. So, killed any monsters yet? Hey. Ever been to Boulder's Gate? I've been to Boulder's Gate. Hey. Ugh, I think I stepped in something. 
do to do to do minding my own business everyone in town used to throw rocks at me and tell me I was annoying okay so yeah oh <laughs> uh, Newber Newber is the annoying town guy um the ultimate notice me commenter yeah and he will continue talking to you and you can actually kill him and get like no repercussions from the town guard like nobody cares if you kill him but the cool thing is is you Tell can me. actually oh, hi what time is it oh will you shut this moron up already what does a girl have to do to get some peace and quiet around here you can actually keep talking to him hey, yeah. i haven't had a conversation this long well ever hey, yeah. what's that big weapon for hey, yeah. Those colors look pretty stupid on you. Hey, yeah. I once knew this guy named Dilby. He threw rocks at me too. Are you gonna throw rocks at me? What about now? Enough already! Out of my way! Let me at him! He's driving me insane! Enough! Enough! You're driving Minsk mad! You wouldn't like Minsk when he's mad! You better listen to him, little man. I've seen him tear the heads off ogres, you know. Emma and we haven't seen Minx do anything yet. Nope. Well, then, um, ta-ta, bye-bye. Have a nice day and all that. Oh, you guys scared him away. No. I wanted to keep talking to him. Oh, he's gonna run away into the house. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Unfortunately, Emma and Minx scared him away. Um... But you can actually finish talking to him, and he'll be like, wow, no one's ever listened to me this long before. Thank you. And you'll get, like, 400 experience or something for it. So, that's a neat little thing. But what I actually want to do is we want to come over here and inspect the farmland. Because, ah ha ha ha, there's a nice little secret hidden in the fields. We picked up a pearl and, more importantly, Ankhead Plate Mail. Uh, Ankhead Plate Mail is basically the best armor you can get in the game. There is a better piece of armor you can get way further on. We won't be getting that until super late game. Um, but this is basically the best you can get until then. So, we definitely want to pick this up. And it will immediately be going to our new pal, Minsk. And that puts his armor class down so nicely. Beautiful. Tell me, don't worry about me. Good on you. Yep. This way. I think... Oh no, not locked. Just three gold. Okay. Give it to me straight. You want it? Couldn't That's remember it. if there was something special there or not. Yeah, there's a lot of little little secrets and stuff that you know, back back in the original game you didn't have tab even to look for stuff. To like show you what was highlightable. Um, so you just had to like scan every single little pixel. So that was crazy. We're gonna go down here to the store and hopefully get some more equipment for Minx, because he's still rather under equipped. I've got this. Welcome to my humble establishment. Interested in a little business on the side, friend? I've a man who swears by his grandmother that he glimpsed a white wolf up in the Cloud Peak ice fields. So it's but a short way south, and she'd be easy pickings for a smart war for a smart sword. I'd pay good money for its pelt, so it's a guaranteed sale if you go. Keep it in mind keep it in mind on your travels. Can I interest you in anything here in my humble shop? Uh yeah, what do you have for sale? So we can keep an eye out for winter wolf pelts. 
whoops, let's not sell that. And there. Yeah, I don't need that leather armor. Okay, Minsk. Let's see. And I think we'll get him a composite longbow. It's always good, even if you plan to have characters mostly be um, up front in battle, it's good to have a nice uh, ranged weapon for them to use as well. Get him some arrows to use just in case. Got decent armor. Okay. And this shop doesn't sell anything super special. Doesn't even have a helmet. You need to get Minsk a helmet. And I bought an extra two-handed sword for Minsk just so that uh, if one of them breaks, he won't be in trouble. And let's see. His proficiencies, he has two in two-handed sword. One in mace and one in longbow. But he also has two weapon style. So that might be something to consider in the future. Yeah, Khalid is long swords. All right. Don't worry about me. Uh, you got one more thing we wanna do here is we want to take a nap at the Nashkel Inn. Let's make sure our spells are where we want them to be. Oh, and because Minsk is a ranger, he will eventually, like, at, like, I don't know, level, level way far away, probably won't even be getting spells in this game far away, like 10 or 13 or something, he will eventually get um, priest spells. So... That's why this is open for him, whereas, like, for Emmeline, it's grayed out. But yeah, one day he'll be able to do spells. You guys are kind of blocking the doorway. It may be a touch on Lady you want it? I'm it. gonna slit your throat, I am. Oh, just fancy my luck seeing you strolling here, bold as day. I expected a hunt and a chase from the description, but who am I to argue with easy coins in the purse? May the Lord of Shadows guide you swiftly to your death. Ugh. If money be your motivation, surely we can make a deal? I've made my deals and shall abide by them. Some others might yield to such an offer, but I would say they lack focus. All right, and we get attacked by another assassin. You point, I punch. Minsk. I care not. Punch her then. Emeline, go ahead and use your magic missile. Nature servant awaits. Jahir, clubber, swing, and swing. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, her spell did work. Oh, Emmeline, try to do it again. Good job. Yeah, unfortunately, Khalid has rigid thinking on him. And so now he was swinging at Jahira. Oh, alright. Emily's gonna use up the last of her magic wand here. Come on, guys. Yeah, alright. That took her out. Now, hopefully, Khalid doesn't. Don't worry about me. I would rather he attack Jahira. Because Khalid could technically go off here and try attacking some of the commoners. And if he would accidentally attack a commoner, that would be really, really bad. So, Jahira, go ahead and try and heal yourself. Okay. Come on, Khalid. Stop. Okay, he stopped attacking. That's good. Give it to me straight. <laughs> He's still not done, but Emily wants to talk. Who, who is that? Um, another assassin. This is the sixth. 
I met two before leaving Candlekeep, one right after leaving Candlekeep, and that mage on the doorstep of the Friendly Arm Inn. And the dwarf in the Red Sheaf. You mean, even inside the walls of Candlekeep you were attacked? Why didn't you tell me this before you left? Um, I don't want, to, want you to worry and have you tag along with me, like you're doing right now. Heh, <laughs> yep, I'm stuck to you like brick on brick and mortar. Well, enough chatting here. Let's go get a room so that we can get a nice warm bath. Alright. Khalid, come on. Alright. He's back to normal. We're all good. I've got this. Why did the combat music start back up? Okay, it's done. <laughs> Uh, there are not full blades in this game. I'm not even sure what that is. Tell me. Okay, we also need to move Minsk up, because he is definitely going to be one of our big heavy Don't tanks. Worry about me. Never had no, sorry. Let's buy ourselves a nice room. We can afford it. By the way, what level is Minsk? Okay, he is still level one, but he's gonna level up here really quick. And I have been playing for nearly two and a half hours, so I think now is a good time to take a quick break. I'm gonna take a break, stretch a little bit, and then we'll probably play for like another half hour or so um, and see how far we get. So I will see you guys then. Okay, guys, I'm back. Just a really short break. I want to keep playing, so... <laughs> I just got up, did some stretches, got a drink. And I am ready to go Give again. To straight. Don't worry about me. I've got this. So, I think our main mission now is to go find this Dinah hair uh, for Minsk. 
And since that has opened up, we still have, we have the Nashkel mines down here that we can explore. We also have, also have the carnival. And over here is the Knoll Stronghold, and that is where Dinah here is being kept. So, you want it? You've got it. actually, want to go over to this side of the map. Minsk is a really, really popular character. Like, if you know anything about Boulder's Gate, um, it's probably Minsk, cause yeah, he's like he's had comics and stuff made about him, and people cosplay as Minsk still at like D and D events and stuff. Like Minsk and Boo are are very popular. Oh jeez. I've got this. What? Ogre mage? What the? Uh, I can't deal with an ogre mage. Tell me. Oh jeez, I am so gonna die. What the hell? Why is there an ogre mage here? Give it to me straight. Ah. Why? Why? What do you need? I tell me. Like I don't even want to waste time actually trying to fight him because like Give this is ridiculous. Go for the eyes, Go for the eyes. What do you need? What? What? I beat <gasps> What the heck was that, guys? I can't believe my piddly little party beat an ogre it. mage. Okay, well, I guess I'll take his stuff. <laughs> Oof, and Minsk leveled up, so that's good. He gained hit points. Yeah, now he has 22. That's, that's great. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Don't worry about me. I I still can't I've never encountered an ogre mage here before. Like never. That is insane. All right, here we run into some Zvarts. Go for the eyes, Go for the eyes. Oh. oh, and they exploded. Boy, these forests are a grab bag of fantasy creatures. Yeah, mo ogre mages are never around here. Like, I'm, I am super shocked. Oh, by the way, that, um, that one lady who was trying to kill us dropped this helmet. Uh, shoot. Well, now I'm in a predicament. One second. Um, bounty notice. So the, uh, offer for our head has now upped to 680 coins of gold. So we are quickly becoming a pricier and pricier head. Um, I am gonna go ahead and give this to Minsk. It is a boring old helmet of infravision, so it means that he can see in the dark. Um, but I, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Minsk, because he doesn't have a helmet, and he kind of needs one, so. It's not even a good helmet. It doesn't really do anything special, so. Oh, we got a whole ton of Zvarts here. Give it to me straight. You want it? Oh, You've let's back it. up. There we go. Bottleneck him. 
Yes, it does protect against critical hits, and that's why that's why I wanted to equip Minx with it, is because like that's that's what a normal helmet does, is protect against critical hits. It is a lot of enemies, but they're very weak enemies, so I'm not too worried about them. But I do want to get them here in this nice little chokehold. That way they can't swarm around me and then I'd be screwed. And they got some gold. Some itty bitty treasures. There we go. More Zvarts. It's a whole Zvart village here. Next let's Zvart. You monster! You kill us when we do nothing to you! Well, Ursa kill you. Ursa protect us because Ursa kind. Hey, I didn't mean to come in here and slaughter you guys. Y'all just You're kind of started fellow. attacking me. Tell me. Um, Minsk is a ranger, so he actually has the ability Charm Animal. Let's see if it can work on Ursa the Cave Bear. Give it to me straight. Yeah! And now Ursa the Cave Bear is on our side. And can help us attack the Zvarts. Good job, Ursa. Now Ursa will eventually turn on us, so we do have to be careful. You want it? You've got it. But good idea is to send Ursa forward and let her deal with most of the brunt of the damage. So if she does become hostile, she'll be a little bit injured already. Alright. You want it? You've got it. Well, convince Minsk it's Boo and you can have it as a pet. <laughs> Whoop, well, hey, where do you think you're going, buddy? Bear, where do you think you're going? You want it? You've got it. Alright, I think we've ran out of uses for Ursa. So I think. I can I'm gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sweetie. What do you need? Best we kill the bear before the bear kills us. Zvarts are having a very bad day, being mur mass murdered by a group of like five adventurers. <laughs> yep. Oh, they did get Jahira though, so time to load, because I don't want to take Jahira's body back to a temple. What do you need? All right, bear. Nature servant. Jahira, away. maybe stay back. Yeah, stay back and oh, fire oh, bullets. Oh. Tell me. You want it? You've got it. You know what is always a safer option? Have everybody fire arrows. Ow. And then have one guy run away from bear. Oh, Khalid, don't die. It might take longer, and it might not be that dignified, but it is definitely a strategy. Oh, 
Okay, good. Woo! Yes, kiting works very well Don't in this game. <laughs> it will work so well when we go up against some higher level stuff that like all has magic and things like that we have to worry about. And we're in uh, more tight, enclosed spaces. But if we're dealing with just things like bears, kiting is good to keep in mind. <laughs> All right, we are all super hurt. Yeah, you do feel a little bad. Like, I, I feel bad about this little Zvart village in general. Like, they're evil creatures, but it does kind of feel like you just what you need. walk in on their village and kill them all. If you get more party members, will individuals get less experience? Yes. So the amount of experience you have gets split amongst your party members. So if you want to level up really quickly, a good way to do that is to try and stay with as few party members as possible and do some like easy missions that get you a lot of experience quickly or get you a lot of experience like without a whole lot of hassle and then pick up party members and they'll roughly be around the same level as you when you pick them up. That's the smart way to go about it. Um, I'm just playing the game more of like naturally. Oh, hi, it's another cave bear. Glad I healed. Because I have less space to run around here. Let's talk more oh, man, switch. Me, switch weapons. Give it to me straight. Oh, can we get lucky? We've almost got it. Come on, guys. Oh. Okay, Whew. we did it. Oh. Rough. But hey, we got a magical flail, a potion of fire resistance, some magical bracers, something most unnatural here, and I want no part of it. And a mithra ring. Don't worry about me. Oh, you know what? Actually, while well, all my party members are here by this campfire, <laughs> I think it's probably a good time to rest. There we go. You've a task? All right, Jahira. Let's heal up a little bit more. Why do we still throw me? Don't worry about me. Oh, we sort of still got a few more Zarts here. My blade will cut you down to size. All right, I think that's all of them. Yes, resting does replenish your spells. It also heals you a little bit. Um, I think it's like eight hit points per rest. So that helped a little bit with our predicament as well. What do you need? Hello. Orda. Why, looky here, a fire, finer bunch of adventures I don't think I've ever seen. Hmm, but from the looks of you, you don't seem to be all that well equipped. Well, you're in a lot of luck. I can solve all your problems. I have a huge collection of potions and scrolls, all for a cheap price. Right now I can give you a potion of extra healing for 25 gold, a scroll protection from petrification for 25 gold, or a scroll of protection from magic for 100 gold. So what do you say? So this guy 
is a charlatan. All of his uh, stuff that you can buy from him is actually cursed. So if you would use any of it, you would be really screwed. So I do not want any of his stuff. Um, we won't, <laughs> we won't rob him, but we'll just say, sorry, we're not really needing to stock up right now. You don't know what you're missing. Bye guy. All right. And then I got this map open to us. Is this the map I think it is? I'm not sure which map this is. Oh, yep, this is the map I think it is. Okay. <laughs> ah, that is not a good sign. All right. So, remember when we walked into town and the, I don't know if we took note of it in our journal. Yeah, we didn't take note of it in our journal, but when we walked into Nashkel, um, one of the soldiers says that their commander of the guard had gone crazy and killed his wife and child and then fled the town without a trace. Well... We definitely have found some carnage here. Larissa, please, I beg of you, go no further. Brage is here, strewn about with the carnage he has wrought. I've tried to reason with him, but it, it is as if he is possessed by another soul. It was all I could do to flee the swing of his tremendous blade. Please, unless you wish to witness the madness in a once good man, leave him be and pray the spirit leaves him in good time. Who is this braid you speak of? Before the curse fell, before this curse befell him, he was captain of the guard in Nashkel. I am his cousin, Larissa. For all of his, all the bonds of love and blood save him from his present agony if there is a way to do so. There, don't worry, lady. We'll try and save Rage for you, okay? Please, I'd be most grateful if you can help him. Greetings, playthings. Thou hast found me when I alone could not. I pray you left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead us all back again. The others did not, so they have decided to stay. Shall we try to find another way home together? I pose you a riddle. The answer to which I once knew, but cannot perceive. Remind me, and we may all return unto the day. Fail, and stay with me in the dark, forgetting whence we came. It has neither mouth nor teeth, yet it eats its food steadily. It has neither village nor home, neither hands nor feet, yet it wanders everywhere. It has neither country, nor means, nor office, nor pet, yet it is ready to fight, it is ready for fight always. By day and by night there is wailing about it. It has no breath, yet to all it appears. And so our options to solve this riddle are war, wind, the insect, death, the circus, the moon, a bear, an outlaw. And I think I'll give you guys a little bit of time and see if you can deduce what the riddle might be. Boulder's Gate likes throwing riddles at players, and I find them fun. If I remember correctly, Boulder's Gate 2 has, has a few different riddles you can solve. And they're always one of those things where it's like it pops up and you're like, Oh man, now I gotta, hmm. <laughs> and you just stare at it for a little while as you like look at what all your options could be.
has no mouth nor teeth, yet it eats food steadily. It has neither village nor home, neither hands nor feet, yet it wanders everywhere. It has neither country nor means of office nor pen, yet it is ready for fight, always. By day and by night, there is wailing about it. It has no breath, yet to all it appears. All right, so some of you guys have guessed correctly. The answer is death. It has, death has neither mouth nor teeth, yet death eats food steadily. Death doesn't have a village or home. It doesn't have hands or feet. It wanders everywhere. It has neither country nor means of office nor pen, yet it is ready for fight. And by day or night, there is wailing about death. It has no breath, yet death appears. Yet to all, death appears. The end of night, where the light shines into mine eyes, and I can see clearly once again. What have I wrought? Tis horrible, horrible. I will welcome the block that must await me at Nashkel. How could I live with what I've done? Please, thou must guide me to the town that I may pay for my crimes. I fear I cannot keep from my senses for only for so long. I must not be allowed to do this again. Too many good people have lost their lives to me, please. And yeah, we can either kill Bragg or we can say, we'll see you back as safe as we can. Though I don't see how killing you will help those that have died. We shall take you to the Temple of Helm in hopes that you may be healed. I fear I can do nothing for those I've wronged, whether I live or die. And I still know not what led me to this. It's like a foul presence in my mind. I can only imagine that I finally succumbed to battle fatigue. Take my weapon that I may not harm another. Use it if thou wish, though I'd rather it be destroyed. Innocent blood on everything. I only just acquired the sword. Such a waste this has been. Take me to Nashkel. I can bear this no longer. Greetings, playthings. Thou hast found me when I alone could not. No, I cannot show my face here after what I've done. Just get me to the guard that I might take my punishment as I should. Do not disgrace me further in front of Helm. And here's the priest of Helm, Malin. Calm yourself, Bray. Helm sees all and he wishes and knows much of what you do not. It was your hands indeed that, may, that did many a foul deed, but it was not your will alone. Intent is vital and yours was influenced without your knowledge. Justice will be done, but with atonement, not punishment. But my crimes, my family, I don't want to go on. If you are returned to the garrison, yours will be the only willful killing that has occurred about this matter. It would be a waste of your life, which, fractured though it is, can still contribute much. Helm will see you through. As for our intrepid friends here, I shall exceed the reward offered by Oblek. Oblak would have offered a um, reward for Bragg's head. After all, it was the same task of bringing Bragg to justice. The temple is now in your debt for the return of its lost son. See, aren't you glad you listened to my idea to bring him here instead of turn him in, turning him in to the for the bounty? Now we've got double the reward money. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Emily. Glad I took your advice. I don't think I like the way you said that. <sighs> Thanks again for your help. Gorion would be proud of your actions. Yeah, we gained another reputation point. Uh, we gained a potion of uh, stone giant strength. And we also got... Who did he talk to? Oh, of course, he talked to Minsk. <laughs> Minsk solved the riddle. riddle. Good job, big guy. Uh, yeah, we have a two-handed sword here that is definitely cursed. Like, super duper cursed. I think the sword is called, like, the Cursed Sword of Berserking. So, it's pretty easy to figure out that someone sent Bragg a cursed 
sword and he equipped it and went crazy and ended up killing his family. Um, the great thing about this quest, in my opinion, though, is afterwards you can talk to Brag and you get this little audio clip. Don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, that voice clip is so good. It's like crazed and sad at the same time. I must atone for my many crimes, my poor family. Yes, I have acquired best boy. <laughs> yeah, poor guy. Ah, intrepid adventurers at our door. Helm guards all o over all the realms, and his servants are at your disposal. The Vigilant One stands ready to mend thy alignments, and so divert thy unyielding gaze of the Great Guide, for suitable donation, of course. Just to demonstrate our mutual goodwill, you understand. So, yeah. Um, Helm is a neutral god. He is a uh, lawful neutral god. And I believe he's, like, he's referred to as the, like, all-seeing eye and, like, the, the god of justice. Alright. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything we can sell, but I think I want to buy a couple of healing potions. And even a couple of antidotes. Man, potions are super expensive. I typically don't buy them, but I, I, I just, I want to be safe. We are still a pretty low level party, so it's good to have potions on us. And let's, let's identify some of this stuff. Let's identify the sword so we can show it off. Oh, looks like Khalid's broken another weapon. Okay. So yeah, we got this flail plus one, which does 1d6 plus two crushing. Unfortunately, uh, none of my party members are proficient in flail, so that's not super useful to us, but we can sell it for a good bit of gold. Bracers of defense AC eight. Equipped abilities is it sets your armor class to eight. Um, I don't think this is gonna be useful for anyone. I think even Jahira? No. No, because everyone's base armor class is already better than that, so it's not any good. Give that to Emmelyn. Let's give some of these sellable knickknacks to Jahira. And... <laughs> The golden pantaloons have this super long uh, description, but it's mostly just talking about like how splendiferous they are. <laughs> it's very silly. I love it. Also, oh yeah, we still have this book, The History of the Dead Three. All right, cursed berserking sword plus three. Yeah, causes the wielder to go berserk. Uh, may only be removed with a remove curse spell. And it does 1d10 plus 3 slashing. Uh, Thacko plus 3. So it's a really good sword, but, you know, it's cursed. So that's, that's not great. Oh yeah. Then we got this stone giant strength potion. That is good. And where did those potions go? Emowyn has them. Alright, put that in there. Give some potions to Minsk. And let's give these three some antidotes. Just to be on the safe side. Oh, alright, well we'll switch that. Give that to Khalid. 
There we go. Lovely. You must gather your party before venturing forth. <laughs> yeah, the golden pantaloons are super silly. Go ahead and go back into the store. Luckily, this store is open 24 hours. Not all stores in this game are like that. A lot of, well, not a lot of them, but there's a couple of stores that, like, they do close at a certain time at night. And so you have to get there before it is nighttime. Um, yeah, we definitely want to get rid of that cursed berserking sword. No thank you. Don't need that. Or that, or that, or that, or that. Get rid of both of those, and we will hold on to these things. And hold on to that. Alright. And let's Don't worry about me. Continue on our merry way. Now, we don't really need to go back to where Brage, Brage was, so let's go over here. Now, if I remember correctly, this is actually don't worry about a map me. that has a few different interesting things on it. Oh, whoa, hi, Orgrillion. Oh, yeah, good job, guys. Man, remember... Right away at the beginning of this episode, we died to an Orgrilli, and now we just took him out, no problem! Oh, it's good to have Minsk on our team. Now what we really need is a mage. Yep, okay, this is the map I was thinking of. Cool. Now there's a few different encounters we can run into here. Let's see if I remember where they all are. Die! Urgh. Oh, here we go, Neville. Ah, weary travelers, well met. Neville, the fairest of all bandits at your service. What may I do for you this hour? Do for you at this hour? Uh, well, for starters, you could tell your men in the bushes to drop their bows and step out into the open. Did you find all five of them, then? Pity. I shall have to train him better. Anyhow, I'm afraid that I can't abide by your wishes. My men would think me a coward to surrender in the face of such a paltry force. Truly, I see no other choice than to order them to fire at will and rob your sad corpses of any iron they may carry. Come, men. I believe the choice before us is clear. All right, Neville. Give it to me straight. Actually, I'm curious I if I can, can I... snipe Neville. What do you need? Where he is, and then go after his men. My blade will cut you down oh, aside. there's one of his guys. All right, guys. Now switch to melee. You have need of me. Nature servant. Oh wait, give it to me straight. Ammo in backup. Let's not have you get killed. Yeah, many of the people who worked on the Pillars of Eternity game worked on this game. What you want? Come on, take him out. Oh, Jira, no! <laughs> well, that's a reload. What do you need? All right, where's that stinking Neville? This. There he is. Tell me. All right, we're gonna try same strategy again. Give it to me straight. My blade will cut you down to size. I'm gone. Yes, O omnipresent authority figure. You point. I find. What do you need? All right, now switch to melee and attack. No! 
That is pretty tough. It's kind of why I want to train. Oh no, Khalid! You big dumb coward! Yep, I've done had enough of this. My blade will cut you down to size. Nature servant awaits. Chihira, heal him. Okay. Whew. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. All right. Good stuff. Took him out. And now let's take out these hobgoblins of his. She sure dies a lot. She does have the worst armor class of um, my upfront fighters right now. Tell me. Give it to me straight. All right. You need? There we go. I cannot. Hey, Emmeline, go ahead and pick up some extra arrows. Yeah, and you can go ahead and pick up this loot, too. Oh, yeah, she is running a little low. Go ahead and pick up more. Top yourself off. And we had these guys using some arrows. Yeah, they're good. Okay. Khalid leveled up. So we finally have a level 3 fighter. Oh, sweet. And he gets a proficiency slot in... Oh, one of his weapons. So, we could give him another proficiency slot in longsword. He already has two. Um, but if we gave him three, he would be a master in it. And the character would receive a plus three to hit plus three to damage, and for warriors only, an extra half attack per round with a selected weapon. This is a pretty good upgrade. Um, we could also up his longbow too, but I kinda, I think we're gonna go with a longsword. That seems just better all around. And let's look at his level up results. Uh, additional weapon for proficiencies, that was this. Um, he also got a bunch of saves, reduced by one, uh, his thacko reduced by one, and he gained 13 hit points and his lore increased by one. Good job, Khalid. You've a task? Alright, unfortunately we're out of healing spells. Give it to me straight. But that was pretty good, you guys. I've got this. Nature servant awaits. What do you need? Oh, I'm tempted to rest my party because Jahira is not doing too hot, but... But I don't just want to rest after every single thing attacks me, you know? I've got this. Let's Oop. talk more fight. Make sure these guys are back yes. on their swords. Whoa, no, don't do that. You silly. <laughs> Tell me. I almost had Khalid attack me. <laughs> Don't worry about me. So I'll just make sure Jahira. What do you need? I'll just make sure Jahira stays in the back, especially for these next few fights. Um, we got this river here. Oh yeah. Yeah, there is some guys. Oh, we got some ogres and hobgoblin elites. Oh, and they're ogre berserkers too. All right, let's play this smart and safe. Try and bring them towards us. Tell me, you. Oh. Ouch. Ogres hit you very, very strongly. All right. I think it's time to start using some magic. Ogre sees us. Let's try and command sleep him. Oh, and it worked. Okay, good. Take him out. That command sleep does not last long enough. Do it again. All 
Alright, it was kind of a waste. He ended up dying right away. But now let's take out these hobgoblins. Drink a potion! Oh no, and this is why we bought antidotes. Because as you can see, the little skull and crossbones down here means Minx got poison. And poison will hurt you like one or two damage every round. Um, and that is not good. No! Minx died! Time to load! I've got this. Alright, come here, ogre. What do you need? Okay. That worked. Tell me. For the fallen! Get him. Ouch. Switched to ranged. Okay. Whew. Oh jeez, and here these guys come. Me straight. What do you need? Do a protection from evil on yourself. Jahira, bless us really quick. Uh, clean. Does not have any healing potions. Heal, my dude. Tell me. Finish your spell, Jahira. All right. Let's take these guys out. Hopefully. Oh no. Oh no. Drink up. Drink an antidote. Don't be poisoned. No, 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 no. Give it to me straight. Go for the eyes, Go, Go the Minsk! Eyes, I believe in you! Go for the eyes, Go Jeez, for these the archers eyes, are brutal! Oh jeez, and there's another ogre. What do you need? Command sleep him! Tell okay. Me. The yellow circle means the hobgoblin is afraid of me, so go after the ogre! Point. Drink a potion. Give it to me straight. Oh. Go, go, go. Yeah. All right. Now just get this hobgoblin. Yes. Woo! We did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, let's get all the loot. Thank you. I've got this. All right. That good, sweet, sweet loot. Man, we are beat up. Yes, oh, omnipresent authority figure. Okay. As you direct. What do you need? I've got this. I don't think. I think I see you're using the strat of seven archers. Uh, I don't have seven people on my party, thank you very much. I had four, well, two, three archers and two people with slings. But I think it is time for my people to rest. Oh no! Boo! Boo, where are you? Minsk, lower your voice. You never know who might be hearing you in these woods, and I've grown tired of healing everyone on such a constant basis. <laughs> but Jahira, Boo is missing! Don't tell me you misplaced him again. How did it happen this time? Well, when I woke up he didn't greet me with his usual perkiness, but Minsk thought Boo was oversleeping, you know, nibbling on the eyes of villains in such a 
It's such a demanding task. Please, don't mention that again. I have enough trouble eating after last battle. I'll never be able to look at a rodent the way I did before. Who will be pleased to find... To find out that you now recognize the courage his kin displays in battle. But my little boy is missing. He has left his pouch while I was sleeping, and now I can't find him. Please, Jahira, you must help. Me? What do you expect me to do? You're a druid. Surely you have some advice. Please, Jahira. Minsk needs Boo. Tenille needs Boo. The Empire, entire party needs him to help us in our glorious butt-kicking quest. Very well, Minsk. I'll help. Now please, stop tugging at my bag. Who? Me? But Minsk is over here. How could I... Don't tell me that... Boo! Boo? You already found Boo? You are a great druid indeed, Jahira. <laughs> here, take the filthy beast. He was hiding in my bag, and only Sylvanas knows what damage he'd caused. Boo! Oh, you've been a naughty hamster, mister. Don't ever scare Minsk like that again. My medicinal plants! He ate all of my medicinal plants, you little pest! I should... I should... <laughs> Beep. Boo says he's sorry. He... but he wanted a little snack, and since Minsk was asleep... Well, he will be sorry. I'd suspect he'll be needing potty breaks a lot the next few days. Maybe that'll teach him to keep his nose out of other people's bags. Is that true, Boo? Quick, let us find you a bush. A bush. Try to hold it, Boo. Try to... Ugh. <laughs> oh, I love this party so much. Alright, Jahira. <laughs> Heal us, please. <laughs> Alright, let's do one more rest. So that Jahira has her spells back. Don't worry about Papa me. save. And let's follow the river down. Hi, doggos. Oh, we can switch our guys back to the melee weapons. And down the river we go. Oh, jeez. Man, another ogre berserker. They are everywhere here. What do you need? Well, let's use our tried and true strategy with using this command. It seems to work on these ogres pretty well. Pretty consistently. Good job, everyone. Oh, yeah, and we've had people level up. Sweet, so I leveled up and Jahira. Awesome. I think. Yeah, I just leveled up in Thief. So. Now let's get my open locks up higher. That is good. And Jahira leveled up in Druid and Fighter. Okay, so she gets another proficiency slot too. Unfortunately, because Jahira is not a pure fighter, she can't keep um, gaining proficiency slots um, higher than two in weapons. But she could get an extra proficiency slot, slot in sling. I do usually like to give her proficiency slot in scimitars, just to give her a little bit more variety with weapons. But I do tend to also have her use slings quite a bit. 
Plus, there just aren't that many great clubs in this game. Hmm. Party in the club! <laughs> oh, not that kind of club. No. No, like big stick club. Um, I think we're gonna go with Scimitar. There we go. Oh, and she also probably... Yeah! She finally has level 2 spells! Okay, so with this, she can get Bark Skin, Charm Person or Mammal, Fine Traps, Flame Blade, Good Berry, No Alignment, uh, Resist Fire and Cold, and Slow Poison. Slow Poison is actually, essentially, neutralizing poison. Um, I think that's the most important thing right now. Yeah, I still don't have any, because I only leveled up in Thief. Okay! You want it, you've got it. Good stuff. Jared. Oh, thank goodness someone came by. There's a bear on the other side of that bridge, and it's coming this way. Please hold it off. I'll give you anything. We will help you, of course. But if I find that you've been teasing or throwing rocks at the animal, then prepare to face the ire of this protector of nature. It will be nothing compared to a single bear. That I promise. Alright, so let's deal with this bear. And it is actually a polar bear. I don't know what a polar bear is doing here. Oof. But it can pack quite a punch. Ouch. And Minx died. Load. What do you need? Don't worry about me. Was this before or after we leveled up? Okay, this is after we leveled up. Good. Alright. Come on. Let's deal with this bear. Let's actually try and charm it, like we did with Ursa. Oh, that didn't work. Tell me. Can I Give it to me straight. Yes, Switch back to kiting. Come after me, bear. is tough. Badly injured, okay. Come on, guys! Get it! Get it! Near death! go. Yeah, 900 experience. So, he is a tough bear. Which makes sense, because it's it's a literal polar bear. Alright, guy, what do you have to offer us? Let's... Who has the best charisma on our team? Emowyn. Let's have Emowyn uh, talk to him. Fellow, this way. Why, thank you. That lumbering oaf w could have had me could have had me there if it weren't for young lumbering oafs like yourselves. Here, if you're going to be wandering the around these mountains for a while, you may need a better pair of boots. As for me, you couldn't pay me to stick around in this place. Tell me. Yeah, if you actually talk to him with somebody with a low enough charisma, he will, I think, just offer you some gold. 
instead of the boots. So that's why I talked to him with Emma Wynn. And we got these nifty little boots. So we will identify those when we get the chance. And with that, we have made it to the Knoll Stronghold. Oh, not quite. My blade will cut you down the side. You have need of me? Everybody, need? let's go melee me. again. You've a task? For the fallen! Give it to me straight. Good job. Don't worry about me. Knolls. We will be fighting a lot of gnolls here real soon. But Oh, yes. Yes! This is the den of evil where they hold sweet Dinah hair. Onward, friends, onward! Hold, good Minsk. We should fir fir first study the pl pl place, lest we fall into an ambush. Ambush? Is that some kind of hole that we fall into? No, it's a kind of sh shrub with long, hard horns. <gasps> what? Oh, thank you, Boo. Minsk understands now. No fear, my friend. Who shall sniff out any no stupid enough to try and ambush us? Onward, I say. Onward, but with c caution. I don't like the look of this bridge. The planks look old and slippery. Khalid, if Minsk had witnessed your valor on the battlefield, he would think you are afraid. On we go. But we know this can't be. No man brave enough to marry Jahira would be scared of some puny knolls. <laughs> but please, Minsk, keep your voice down. Jahira sometimes is very sensitive to... What are you two mulling over? Looking exactly like two old wives. Khalid, was Minsk talking about that? Nothing, did dear, nothing. We weren't talking at all. But I thought I heard... Uh, maybe the wind. Yes, the wind in, the, in this g -g gorge. So, what are we waiting for, Minsk? Follow me, but, but quietly. You know, Boo, it makes my heart... <laughs> it makes my heart good to see such a display of courage. Just look at him go. Hmm, now that he mentioned it, this bridge doesn't look quite safe. Let's cross carefully, shall we? Yes, Khalid is really brave to charge as he did. Danger? Where? I see nothing. Oh, that danger. Ranger, are you talking again to that rodent? How many times do I have to tell you? Yes, Khalid, I hear you. Minsk is coming. Minsk is coming. And he brings Boo along. One day I shall have the Grand Druid test my hearing. If there's nothing wrong, then these two will hear of that. What do you need? All right, and this is where we're going to stop the stream. Next time we will tackle the Knoll Stronghold and go save Dinahair. I wanted to get to this place before we stopped, because it seemed like a good place to stop. There is a lot to explore here. Ooh, yeah. I love the extra little dialogue added by the NPC project. It's so nice. Because like I mentioned before in my last stream, like without the NPC project, there would be none of these conversations and banters between the party members. It's just all kind of like implied things about like the way they speak when you click on them and stuff like that. They don't really interact much. It's more of something that happens in Baldur's Gate 2. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the stream. Thank you all so much for coming. And... I will see you guys next Friday for more of this. Bye-bye.